All right, welcome, my friends, to Master Sword Sunday. I'm here, ready to play some more Breath of the Wild on Master Mode for you guys. Uh, and just, uh, I've been giving pretty continual reminders of this, but I'm going to do it again, uh, both for here and on YouTube. Um, I have not, Ma Tears of the Kingdom has been out for a bit. I have not played it yet. I will not be playing it until I have beaten this on Master Mode. So I just ask for the for the remainder of this playthrough, uh, both here on Twitch and on YouTube, uh, that we just keep it spoiler free. Um, like we could talk about Breath of Wild stuff. We could talk about Skyward Sword stuff. We could talk about Twilight Princess, Awkward Time. We could talk all about all these other Zelda games. We just just keep discussion about. Tears of the Kingdom limited, um, like you could say, like, hey, the game's really cool. That's fine by me. 
Um, but just don't tell me what's specifically cool about it. Uh, if you're in, in case you're because I don't want to get spoiled, right? And I don't want other people to be spoiled either in case there's people watching who um, might also want to not be spoiled on Tears of the Kingdom until I'm doing it myself. Um, anyways, all that being said, thank you. And I'd like to thank people, by the way, for being so cool about that so far. Uh, I have had no issues with that um, here on Twitch or on YouTube. People have been really awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep it up. Anyways, uh, so for today... Um, so last week I, I spent a lot of time in Hebrew Mountains and then did, finished off with this, uh, labyrinth, one of the Zonai labyrinths. Um, <clears throat> um, so this week I'm a little bit less sure about what I want to do, but I, I think I figured out some of the things I want to do. Uh, so as soon as I'm in here, I'll look at the map so you could look with me. Goth is all the colors, I guess. Yeah. Uh, how's it going, Corpse, by the way? It's nice to see you. Um, Alright, so some broad things I'm thinking about. Hey, yo. We got a follow from Plug Bear, because they're, cool, they're a cool person. Um, recently added to the uh, Gremlin House Discord with, that ResDoc and I have, and I have liked almost everything you have posted, and you're pretty cool. I like that. Um, anyways, so things I'm thinking about for today, um, I'm thinking we might do Lost Woods or, and like this, like Zonai Forest, like, what's it called? The Typhlo Runes. I feel like, cause I'm feeling like mystery, mysterious forest vibes is like a cool direction I could go today. Um, some other things I can do. I know there's some stuff in Kakariko, uh, I haven't done yet. Um, so I've, I might go there. I might even start with that. I don't know. I'll. I'm a little bit playing a little bit loosey goosey right now, um, doing my part one shit post at a time. Yeah, yeah. The master mode logo is really cool. Actually, I like it a lot. Um, it, it does. It feels like appropriately edgy. Um, yeah, and some other things I think I might do today. I think I might want to actually go into the Akala region. I, I might as well get the Death Mountain Watchtower while I'm at it too. So I might just kind of run on by here because I think the Death Mountain Tower is like here ish, and the Akala Tower is like here. So I might just, I might just like go down like along the, these like mountain ridges, maybe go in between the forest here, and then kind of come down this way, and then go out that way. I don't know. I'm playing it pretty loose with my plan, um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at so far. In the meantime, I hope you guys just enjoy the vibes. Um, yeah, let's explore them out. It's so fucking windy out here. So violent. Come here. Come here, flower. You will be mine. I've obtained it. So I remember there's some stuff on this mountain. I just don't remember what's on this mountain. I don't think it's like a shrine or anything. Um, but I want to say there's like some like special camp. Hey, hello. We got a fucking... Got a fucking rat over here. I should probably trade my knight's shield for that one. Because this is a fresh one. Alright. Korok puzzle. What am I doing with you? I think I'm putting you here. Oh, yeah. Hello, how's it going? That was aggressive, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> mm -hmm, I got a Korok. Oh, it's a dead guardian. Okay, I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs>
At least I hope that's a dead one. Be pretty awkward if it were still alive. No, it's dead. Alright. Cool. Oh, there's another dead one over here. And another one over there! Oh, no, this one's alive! Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was trying to dodge, but yeah. Um... Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, I got it. <laughs> um, I guess I should go back for that knight's shield I dropped. Because... <laughs> Hey, I, I, I destroyed the other two. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, so that one's probably dead. They don't normally do more than one at, unless it's like a special place, but this place... I don't... I only barely remember doing anything on this mountain. Back up. Maybe I should have climbing hat on. Or bandana, whatever they want to call it. The thing that you put on your head. It's a hat. Ooh, am I gonna have enough stamina? Uh Fucked it. You know what? I have a volley scale. It's fine. What's happening outside? Did you, are you hearing that? I've been hearing it too. Yeah. yeah. It's not like a holiday that I'm forgetting, because it almost vaguely sounds like fireworks, but... I'm not sure what the occasion would be. Oh, that's right, it's Memorial Day! Okay, yeah, that's probably what it is. Happy Memorial Day, let's trigger all the birds' PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is kind of... We want you all to remember what it was like. So we're gonna shoot off fireworks in your neighborhood to trigger your PTSD. Take you back to the good old days that you keep asking for. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is basically what's happening. Oh my god. Holy shit, that's so funny. <laughs> I mean, it, you know what? Is there a more American way to provide veterans benefits than... Uh, by giving them more trauma. <laughs> Let's see. Um, okay, what can I see from up here? So I see a camp over there. Um, I have some style moblins here. Take this one's head and just kick it off to the side. Oh, 
Why emo? That's rude. I was about to say privatizing that healthcare, but that's kind of a moot point. Yeah. Oh my god, he grabbed it! <laughs> I didn't know they could grab the bombs! That was actually kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. That was the bomb. <laughs> Indeed it was. Look. Okay, let me do a better job of taking this head all the way down the mountain. Oh. That's a place to yeah. roll back up as well. Yeah. You know what? It's so far down that honestly it probably can't do shit to me, so who cares? Alright, what kind of camp do we have down here? So... Corpse and Bugbear are both red. <laughs> yeah. I, Guys, stop picking the same colors it, as each other. It is kind of funny how, like, previous, like, it feels like every time there's, like, two people in chat, they end up having the same color. Like, what was it, like, two, three weeks ago, we had uh, H-Kills and Blat in chat, and they were both pink. Guys, <laughs> pick different colors. Jeez. Uh. It's so key why I made myself orange, because I'm like, who the fuck's gonna pick orange? Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Let's see, do they have anything worth stealing? Let's go. Let's go bully this guy. Can I hear something unrelated to anything at all? Uh, um, sure. There's a. There's a. There's a tea, a tea. shop online that worked with. Um, the author of one of my favorite books, and they made a tea that's supposed to be like the essence of the book, and I really want it. <laughs> that's all. Alright. Oh, hold up. I can read you the tea. I, I can read you the tea. You can read you? <laughs> but she's in Gerudo Valley. Can't shoot him in the head. <laughs> Whatever, that works. We got the foot soak, we got the whiskey, we got the queer leftists playing Gasalda game, and all the ingredients for a good end to a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, foot soak. Soaking feet. Yeah, well, warm, comfy. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. That, that makes sense, I guess. I, I was just, I was like a little bit confused where that came from, but what? <laughs> Go on. I'm confused. No, I don't I'm, want to do I'm concerned. No, just go on. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> um... One of them woke up. He sees me. Let me 
just come over here a little bit. Um, here's an idea. What if you just drop your stuff? Oh, I have too many weapon slots. Um, you know what would have been funny? If you would have stasis him instead and shot him off the cliff. Rut row. Now you have two. And I fucking miss. missed. Okay, well, alright, we're leaving. The, the most valuable thing for me to. Oh my god! What happened? They just sniped me off the cliff? Wow. I dread asking where your mind went. I just said we're not gonna talk about it, Flipper. <sighs> I was gonna say the main thing I wanted to take from the Vocoblins was the weapon and the shield that I took, but. Um. <laughs> Oh god, and because of master mode, it didn't save any of the progress I got here. Oh boy. So I guess we'll try this again. Drop special arrows? Okay. Because if the ever one I know dropped fire arrows. Queen. And that's pretty useful. Hey, Queen! Yeah, we're breathing in the wild. Um, and we have to be a master at it or else we suffocate and die. We have to be a master or else we go to Pesh mode. <laughs> no, we gotta go to Pesh mode on this. Dying bat, yeah. I'm gonna read you what the T has. Because it sounds really good. If anybody cares about tea, then they'll 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 be like, "Ooh, that sounds delightful." If no one cares about tea, so, so just be just like, be clear, tea. just be clear, we're talking about tea as in the actual beverage, actual, not not yeah, like the internet slang tea. of tea. Okay, <laughs> gotcha. Actual tea. So this is a tea based off a book I like called The Night Circus, and it's about um, a magical circus that shows up in the middle of the night random places and it's Where magic it and it travels by magic and forbidden love and um, Ooh, love. Ooh, love. yeah it's forbidden love and how they gotta save the circus and stop the circus but it's really weird and confusing but it's it's really well it's written really well that it illustrates very nice pictures and I, I, I like this book a lot. But it's, it, they talk about the food a lot in that one and it's, it's based off of like those mm. descriptions. So I feel robbed of my fire arrows. Where'd it go? It's some of the ingredients are in food. It's a, it's a black tea base. It has candied ginger, apple, toasted coconut, I don't know what that is. Cacao, cinnamon, something else I don't know, and something else I don't know, <laughs> and a clove. <laughs> but the ones I do know what they are. <laughs> Make it sound really beautiful. <laughs> You're delightful. Thank you. That's gay. <laughs> but it has notes of chocolate, caramel, popcorn, and spiced apple, and I really want it. <laughs> I froze myself! Oh no! <laughs> you fool. It's okay. He freezes for longer. Anyway, I really want it. I really like black tea. If I was on tea, I'd black tea. That probably sounds like it. No, I'm not- I don't I care- Like, I like just the black tea. A green tea. I used to drink coffee. I thought this sounded delightful. Considering I've read the book I don't know how many times, I was like, this sounds perfect. And I really want it. And I might go. It's also really hot. This is not Dinro. The tale of Dinro. 
<laughs> Sorry. Every time I see a dragon, I get so excited. <laughs> I, I saw the tail of Didroll. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> let me try. Ragdolls and Breath of the Wild are great. Hugbear likes that they fall. Yes. Um, Hugbear likes when the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I had that song stuck in my head on the last day of school. <laughs> really? Yeah. And oh I was like God. watching kindergartners and I'm singing this to myself and I'm like, this probably isn't the best song to have in my head at a school on the last day of school while watching six year olds. Oh, is that weaker than the sword? I thought that was about it. Maybe I'm thinking of a different t- type of club. Anyways, uh, carry on. Cool, yes. A sweet treat. I need a sweet treat. I serve this. Not the right. I have. Sorry, I didn't have bodies at the floor stuck in my head. I had. I can only count the floor stuck in my head. That's the truth. Uh oh, they saw me. Probably because I ran. I can only count to four. I can only count to four. I can only count to four. And I ran. I ran so far away. And then I ran out of energy. Like, and I is... ran. I ran uphill again. <laughs> So long in these pants. Yeah. It's probably because they're uh, uh, form fitting. Because, like, they're like. Is that Ninja Turtle feet? Ninja Turtle feet? <laughs> Am I wrong? Um, look, just because these are ninja leggings doesn't mean he's look a Ninja at his Turtle. Feet. My wife wants Link's feet pics. No, I don't. <laughs> Look at his feet. There's so many the turtle feet. You're refusing to look at his feet, Harold. No, I looked at them. That's not how that works. How dare this, this watchtower guy watch me um, as I assassinate his friend. How dare he do his job? Oh, hello! Oh shit, there's a gold! <laughs> no, we are not fighting a group of silvers headed by a gold. Fuck that. However, I will snipe the uh, blue book goblins because they. Hello? Sir? Thank you. Welcome to why we have Majora's Mask, so I could just walk it over here and be like, yeah, this is fine. What do you guys have? Is there anything worth trying to steal from you guys? This guy's got a spear, that guy's got a claymore. But it's a knight's claymore. If there were a royal claymore, I'd be interested, though I would also be scared, because royal claymore would fuck me up. Here's a chest I could just open. That's shock arrows, nice. Alright. What 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 Zelda which Zelda game would be would be subtitled um, "Fuck Around and Find Out"? Fuck Around and Find Out. Way out of the ones that currently exist, or like if I, or the concept for a new one. The ones that already exist. Um. Like Legend of Zelda, it's not 
Breath of the Wild. Let's fuck around and find out. I mean... Breath of the Wild fits that pretty well. Note that I haven't played Tears of Kingdom yet, but from what I understand about Tears of Kingdom, that one's probably even more fuck around find out. Um, because of the Ultra Hand and Fuse abilities. It's um, less fuck around and more find out. <laughs> <laughs> like, you find out, um, and then you turn around, and then you find out, and then you find out, and then you find out, and then you find out! And, you find out. That's all and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop <laughs> really coming, and they don't stop coming. <laughs> Now, so another game that kind of fits the energy of, like, oh, shit, you, you fucked around and you found out, uh, might be, like, maybe Link to the Past. Because um, that game, I feel like... it That one does like to fuck you pretty hard. Um, because, you know, they're just finding out how to do game design. Um, and they and so the player has to find out. Um, <laughs> like, oh, hey, here's a big worm at the top of a tower. I'm going to go hit it. And then it hits you, and then you fall all the way to the bottom of the tower, and then it's like, oh no, I found out. <laughs> um, or, or like, you go into, like, these, like, the Skull Woods, and you, like, find out that the dungeon, fuck around, and you find out that the dungeon actually takes you into, like, an actual, like, dungeon dungeon place, but also utilizes the actual zone itself. And that's pretty fucking cool. And then you get to the boss room, and it's Mothula with a fucking, like, treadmills everywhere and spikes that move around and everything. And oh my god, that was the hardest boss I've ever had to fight in a new Zelda game ever. Jesus Christ, it was insane. And then the very next dungeon you, I did in that game, I did the boss on my first attempt, and it was super easy. And it was really weird after fighting Mothula, who was super fucking difficult. The moose is blocking the rock. <laughs> right. I can't believe you abused my <laughs> I almost crushed myself if it's any consolation. That's just karma. That doesn't make it better. Have you ever considered what it's like to be in a room with a moose? Have you considered peace? Consider the following. Um, yeah, I guess I pretty much explored the mountains here. Um, I should probably go back to the stable so I could teleport my, my horse back to it instead of letting it sit between two Lynels. <laughs> you left in there? What's your horse's name? Cinnamon. <laughs> She's reborn. <laughs> Is that why you abandoned her there? <laughs> <laughs> well, so I, I took Cinnamon out here so I could, like, get to this one, because, like, you know, it's much faster to travel the Tundra on horse, but I can't, you can't, I am not risking the horse going past that Lionel. Oh my god, Breath of the Wild is fuck around, and Tears of the Kingdom is find out. <laughs> You're so right. That's also, true. Mies are scary. Yeah. I think it's just moose, by the way. It's a different etymology. Shut etymology. up! I looked at you because I thought you were going to let me get away with saying it. <laughs> Never let me get away with it. Okay. Um. It has spiked about moose with you. Okay. Good also, uh, plug bear is uh, did you and Rez bond over um, being scared of of moose? Because <laughs> one of my favorite clips. On my channel it's it's like so dumb too but like because it's not r really like one of those clips that really should be that funny but i find it funny because of just how out of nowhere reza's comment was 
but I was this was like god like a year and a half ago I was playing Link's Awakening and Rez was just hanging out in my stream as he does um and I was like running around you know just doing stuff in the game in, in the world on Koholint Island and then he just randomly said dude moose are scary <laughs> and I was like I just like started laughing because it was so out of nowhere. And I was like, okay, what's so scary about moose? He's like, they're fucking huge! Hey. And I'm like, well, I mean, yeah, that, that's the thing with them. They're still ah. never super moose. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have arrows. Meh. <laughs> um, anyways, let's. Let's get my horse. If you didn't, but that's just good survival instincts. I suppose so. Um, I mean, like, don't fuck around with a moose. Like, that, that's for sure. Don't fuck a moose. Yeah, don't fuck a moose either. Um, they can't consent. Oh. Or at least, we they can't consent yeah. in a way that, like, we can confirm, right? Because, um, you know, we can't communicate with Moose. If they consent, you don't have the chance to. <laughs> oh my god. I think I think then you're just flipping a situation, but okay. <laughs> Speaking of Moose. I can't remember if I need two headshots. Gonna... No, I just needed the one. Okay. Talking mythological, mythological, mythological moose are fair game. I, <laughs> I mean, that's the thing though. It's like the whole idea of like why, of where we draw a lot of uh, sexual boundaries, it has to do with consent, right? If we believe that someone, if we can't if we believe that someone can't properly consent, um, then like we consider that a big no-no, right? Like, that's why, you know, taking advantage of someone who's drunk is not consensual. Um, because they're they're not in the proper mindset to give consent, right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Conclusion, we can fuck the Iroquois moose spirits. Oh. Correction, it'd be the Haudenosaunee moose spirits. Also, person. There we go. Canny. I don't like to venture out on days like this with the snow swirling like that. You're bound to get lost. All the same, I can't sit in my duff with people waiting for my mushrooms. Would you like to browse my selection of specialty mushrooms? Uh, sure. Show me the goods. Oh. Yeah, this is just good stuff. I'll take your entire stock. <laughs> Got razor shroom, iron shroom, endura shroom, hardy truffle, big hardy truffle. That's some good shit right there, man. I'll take the entire stock. Certainly have the money for it. <laughs> and if I didn't, I could get the money. In fact, I could probably casually double my money. Ooh. Let's do it. Let me casually double my money. Um, so let's just... So we got 28 or 25 topaz here. What if I just sold, I don't know, like 10 of them? That's 1,800 ah. rupees. I more than doubled my fucking money. <laughs> As resident how to shut a rep, I'm cool with either. Yeah. No, fair enough. Um I, I just think how the Shoni is such a it like well one, it's like the actual like um indigenous name, because the Iroquois is the French name. And then two, I think how the Shoni sounds way cooler, even if it's harder to read. Um, but once you once you understand it, it's it's cool. Um so um so I'm not trying to do like that whole like 
I'm not like trying to speak on their behalf. I, it's just like I think I think it's more accurate and also cooler. You know, it does in fact kick ass. Indeed. Oh, the Hunter the Shoni had a really cool like political system. Um, And they deserve more credit for that. Nice. What direction do I want to go with my horse? Um, it occurs to me I can't actually explore a lot of the area I was thinking of exploring with my horse, because it's very mountainous. Um, hmm. Because if I want to go up here, well, one, I know there's like a Lionel down here, so I don't want to run my horse right by a Lionel. Um, but two, it's also mountainous all along here. Mm. I mean, I can let my horse just exist out in the wild. It's fine. There's another person. Oh, person. I want to talk. I just want to talk. Forget the fact that I accidentally button mashed my weapon out. No, dude. Nah. Person! I'm scaring everyone I love. <laughs> oh no, I scared the shit out of them. Okay, okay, let's try this again. Okay, his name is Bomber. Um, this is such a drag, dude. Bomar. Bomar? Baumar? Bowser? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is such a drag, dude. I just want to get back to my shield surfing. I miss that fresh powder. Oh man, ju I just like had a total flashback. When I was a kid, I almost got lost up in the snowy mountains. But I was saved by this totally wicked shield surfer. His name? It was F Falma. Oh man, I totally forgot. Okay, bye! <laughs> um, but yeah. But yeah, one thing I, I notice it with, uh, it's like, when it comes to, like, understanding the origins of the U.S. Constitution, I feel like a lot of people, just in, like, with our understanding of Western civilization, a lot of people have an understanding that, like, uh, that the United States was inspired by um, the Roman Republic, which is true. Um, but it's understated how much they were inspired specifically by the Haudenosaunee people um, and the democracy that they had. Um, and I feel like people should talk about it more. Um, not that I'm an expert in it or anything, like, I I just, I know a little bit, but en enough to admire it, but not enough to, like, um, give, like, a thesis on it or anything. Um, um, if I remember correctly, this person here is a Yiga thing. Can I set up some kind of trap? Um... Hmm. Drop a boulder on top of his head right before I hit him. Um... Yeah, but it's like, I don't see a boulder or anything. Um, drop your horse. Drop my horse? <laughs> Look, this isn't Calico. I can't just pick up my horse. <laughs> hmm. Uh, maybe... Okay, here's an idea. Let me, like, let me nudge it this way a little bit. <laughs> she keeps on just, like, walking a little bit further away. Okay, okay. Um... Alright, let's try this. Oh god. Fuck. 
I fucked that up. Okay, okay I, ha I have a second shot. I have a second I shot. Technically I have a second shot. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I, to be perfect. fair, I've never actually attempted to do this before, so like. Okay. Okay, okay. Just, I just gotta grab another weapon, that's all. Okay. Excuse me, do you know which way I should go if I want to go to the desert? I know. I don't think it's gonna work. Because you didn't wait until it was just about to shoot off at her. You might be right. She's gonna back up before. You might be right. We'll see if this works. Uh, wait. <gasps> oh, oh. That would have been great. <laughs> All right. I just two shot them. <laughs> Doesn't even matter, dude. Yiga clan members suck so bad. Holy shit. <laughs> I spent so much effort on really- this this thing that didn't even fucking matter. And I still just casually do something. Oh my god. Alright, you have fun with that one. Wow, that was so fucking stupid. And Yiga Clan sucks so much dick in this game. Kinda wish they were more intimidating. Um, I should try to make my way to Satori Mountain because I noticed that the glow is still there. I kind of thought it would disappear by now. Hmm. You know, let's go for it. Because maybe we'll actually have the opportunity to do the cool thing. You got we have popsicles? No. Oh. We 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 old popsicles. Where were they hiding? Underneath things. Underneath things? Okay. Well, I guess that would explain why we didn't do that. I think they're from last summer. I think they're from last summer. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure they're from last summer. A person needs help! Ow. I'm just gonna eat a tiny bit of food just to deal with that. That hurt. Have a snack. Yeah, just just casually eat an entire seared steak in front of them. Um, I don't have any of her small heels. <laughs> I feel like eating anything else is kind of overkill. Um, <laughs> I, I don't have any small heels. I'm a slut. See, fun fact what your is alone from the uh Uji uh, 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 I God I can't I'm so, I can't I'm I'm good at some things and not, not at others and I'm bad at reading sometimes. Um speak around no. what? I don't know how to read. Oh. You, you, let me let me let me uh just copy paste this and just see what it says pronunciation is. Just told you. What? I just told you. Did I? Oh my god, I, it was as <laughs> I was copying it, that's why. Ojibwe. Okay, thank you. Alright. So, it, it's borrowed from the Ijib Ojibwe. Sadly, least speaker grant a little fuck all. Fucking all Ojibwe, so I couldn't tell you what the, the exonym means. Okay, thank you. Oh, 
bite it. <laughs> bite I it. don't want to bite it. I don't like biting popsicles. So you just sucked on my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's just going to leave me with that? <laughs> bite it. What? I don't want to bite like an ice thing. I don't like doing that. It's uncomfy. <laughs> I was gonna give it back to you, but I'm like, we're on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I have what moms do. They're like, for toddlers, or at least that's what a lot of my mo moms in my family did to their own toddlers. They like took a little bite of something. But didn't actually like, put it all the way in their mouth, and then they like took it out of their mouth and gave it to their toddler. <laughs> and that's what I was about to do to you. <laughs> oh, cool. That, that's a cool fact about the, the Ojibwe. Um... Oh my god! Out in the wild! He's breathing! He's got arrows! Hell yeah! Um... Do I need warm burners? I mean, I might as well. It's cheap enough. Wow! Every time I read Bugger, I think of this and the moon bear. How did I get Ojibwe. Okay. Okay, that might- if that's a better pr pronunciation, then I'll, I will try to lean on that. Wow. Ojibwe. O Ojibwe. Something like that. Ojibwe. Emphasis is kind of front loaded. Okay. Anyways, I bought his entire sock. Um, I don't have visual on Satori Mountain anymore. Hopefully it's still doing the thing, because if not, then, well, that sucks. Go to save the grand salt. Yeah, that, that's valid. I think, you know, honestly, I think most things that you hear from someone on the internet should probably be taken with a grain of salt, right? I had enough of them though. Kinda sucks that I fired a bomb arrow at them and it just whiffed. <laughs> Anyways, let's get this luminous stone. God, they're back. Are you kidding me? Don't do it. Don't try it. Don't try it. The keys just collectively say, You underestimate our power. Take take care, Flug Bear. That ran. Also, that bomb did not destroy everyone, and I'm upset about that.
Alright, looks like Satori Mountain still has the glow. Um, so, um... Alright, let's go to Satori Mountain! Was that one grape? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not very good, is it? <laughs> we discovered something that tastes more purple than grape. Oh yeah, the other day- yeah, because we, we went out with um, Res Dog the other day to Red Robin. And what was it you got? It was like a prickly pear thing, right? Yeah. Like a prickly pear lemonade? Yeah. Okay, person. But you came to ask me about Hyrule Castle, you're barking up the wrong tree. Horses, horses, horses. That's all I care about. Finding and taming wild horses is like adopting a new family member that you can sit on. <laughs> okay. So I was finding a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> also, is this little lady red? I don't think so. She wants to sit on the horses. I I don't think it's a she. I mean, maybe maybe they identify that way. I don't know. Um, once you register your horse companion on a stable, it'll. It'll always be by your side forever unless it dies. <laughs> Dave, I'm not a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Glowing it. Someone needs help. <laughs> Let's maybe not blow up the entire region. Yeah, know your place. They found their bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you drop any parts? Do the NPCs do damage? I think so. It's just like they suck at fighting. No. I, I see you handle yourself in a fight, so can I most of the time? Wish I had more to give you than this, but time's a couple over, right? Monster extract. Uh... <laughs> Wait, didn't they like just save her in um, after like the the Yiga person? Mm -hmm. I don't know. And then she fired, and she missed. She fired again. <laughs> Game Grumps hasn't played to the occasion. Horse? Horse? Liz? I think it's because they're in Europe. <laughs> so I can really, really come back. Yeah. 
I mean, they might just be letting the other people do it for now. Kind of, kind of like what I'm doing, where I'm like, yeah, I'm, rather than like trying to do Tears of Kingdom content at the same time that everyone else is, I'll do it later when there's less people doing it, but there's probably still some interest in it because it's a cool Zelda game. Is it passion fruit? Yes. Okay. <laughs> the first one was dead. Me. <laughs> I'm like letting myself get dis too distracted by other ones. So that one. There we go. Are you missing towers still? Uh, yeah, I haven't gotten all the towers. Oh. What made you think I had all the towers? Oh. It's gonna be such a bitch because it's like kind of far too, so I have to like do a bit of a jingle. Oh my god, I'm gonna waste so many arrows on this. How did I do it? There we go. Jesus. Make a separate point of getting memories, or are you just getting them when you're in the game? Um, I mean, if if I haven't, like, I'm gonna grab things when they're convenient. Like, like, I I, I don't know why I wouldn't. I know my question was more like, are you waiting to go on a specific hunt to get all the memories, or are you just getting them as no. you're, as you're around? Yeah, no, I think my first statement kind of addresses that. What what is dying here? What? Oh, were there style book goblins? That must, <laughs> that must have been it. I hope I didn't waste too much time with that Korok, um, because I can't tell if it's the mountain's glowing while I'm on it. It's after 5 a.m. It might be fun. I mean, I don't know. It's been there for, like, multiple in-game days, so, like, I don't know if that'll be there for more, or, or, or if that was it. It's really unclear to me. Like, I, I have no idea how to predict uh, Satori Mountain. Might have missed the thing. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I missed something. Cause wouldn't it be all misty here? Yeah. Okay. So I'll have to come back here. I'll I'll do the shrine. Um, and just next time I see Satori Mountain glowing, I could just teleport back here. Uh -oh. Anyways, where'd that Korok go to? Like, go up on one of the things, or... No. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Dragon. Um, 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 Feroche. Where are you right now? I'm not here. Okay. I'm like low-key climbing this, but like not at all, never mind. <laughs> it's like, whoa, I'm climbing this unclimbable surface. And then I, I, I fell. It's okay. Let's do the shrine, and then we can come back here whenever we see Satori Mountain glowing again. Swinging thingies. We got swings. Metal swings. Wow. That was... That was really, really bad timing on my part. I literally have to, like, eat some stuff just so I don't die to fucking falling over and over. Damn it, dude. I suck at the timing here so bad. Okay. 
All right, let's see what's in this chest. Forest Dweller's Spear. Korox made this spear for Hylians. The shaft is made out of light, sturdy wood, offering ease of use. The spearhead is made from much harder wood, offering strength. Cool. It's a pokey stick. So, question. If I just, like, walk into this, does it, like, knock me back? Yes, it does. Okay. Oh, boy. So, let's just do that. Ow! Are you kidding me? Oh no, this is not gonna go well. Okay. Just. Stoller's bow. Ooh, it splits times five. That's actually pretty good. Crux made this bow for Hylians. It's crafted from flexible wood and uses sturdy vines for the bowstring. Its construction may be simple, but it fires multiple arrows at once. Okay, so what is my weakest bow? The one I'm currently using. Okay. I tried to get fancy and it killed me. <laughs> Fuck. Oh no, because I counted as a game over, I actually have to fucking restart. Oh. Son of a bitch, dude. <laughs> I hate these swings a lot, actually. They're really frustrating to use. back here. Oh, this is even. Oh. I thought this was slight. Okay. 
Okay. I have a bit of an idea. Uh oh. It's not quite what I thought. Um. Bring this up this way. It's a touch closer. Should be able to drop like this. Cool burpee, okay, that's kinda cool. <laughs> it's a push door. <laughs> I was pulling on a push door. Okay. <laughs> All right. We did it. Oh, yeah. Alright, so that gives us full heart restore. Oh, I have 12 uh, spirit orbs with this. I should maybe go to Kakariko <laughs> and just turn those in and get some hearts. How many hearts do I have right now? I have... Let's see, one... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have nine. So three more would bring me to 12, I believe. Okay. Okay, so if we're going to 
Paprika. Let's get like a comfy vibe going. Can you something like this? What do you think of this as a vibe? <clears throat> You're a gamer. I'm a gamer. All right. All right. Let's go to Kakariko. Turn in our fucking <laughs> spirit orbs. I have twelve. It's... Um. Getting three more hearts will probably allow me to survive a lot more battles. Because <laughs> I have been dying a lot to things. Okay, so let's get, let's get three heart containers. Like, I know I could get more stamina, but, like, I have Revolve Scale, um, so I'm a lot less worried about being able to climb cliffs. And I can always, like, pop a st stamina food, um, but what's, like, catching me off guard in combat is, like, getting hit for more hearts than I have. Um... And so there isn't even, like, the time to just, like, recover hearts. It's just like, oof, I'm dead. So I think increasing my capacity to just not die would be very good here. So while we're while we are here, let's go talk to Pia. Pia. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Master Link, is there anything the matter? Anything at all? Can I help you in any way? What's the ball? Oh. This this priceless artifact here. Is that what you want to know about? This is a Sheikah heirloom that we have long protected. The hero as chosen by the Sheikah heirloom will be gifted the blessing of antiquity. With these words as our guide, we have watched over the sacred artifact since my grandmother grandmother's time. And even since her grandmother grandmother's time. And before that. Um, I cannot say that I entirely know the meaning of these words, but... Now that I think about it, the hero is chosen by the Sheikah heirloom. C could it be? Please don't hesitate to let me know if I could ever be of service. Okay. And what's your story? You. I. Me? You want to know my st story? Uh, well, my name is Paya. The, the, the reason I was named Paya is because of, I have a birthmark shaped like a papaya seed. Where is it? Well, it's kind of... Um, Master Link, I advise you to change the subject. I'll answer you some day, just not today. Okay. <laughs> Alright. How did you ask for that? So rude. <laughs> it's not necessarily rude. You're so rude. Now you're invading her space. <laughs> you made her uncomfortable. Now you're invading her space. God. <laughs> Grandmother says that she conspired with Princess Zelda and Auntie Pura a hundred years ago. They decided to put a lone swordsman into a deep sleep in order to prepare for an event that was foretold. Since then, Grandmother has been waiting for him to re reappear after all these years. I too pray that he comes soon for the sake of Hyrule and for our Grandmother's sake as well. After sleeping for ages, Master Link has finally awoken. It seems his memory is completely gone. But that hardly mattered to Grandmother. I believe this is the first time I've ever seen her quite so happy. Master Link himself looks so gallant. He is the very picture of the hero I always imagined. His blonde sideburns flow like a golden water flow, 
waterfall over his dignified pointed ears. And the way his hair is so perfectly parted to the side. Wow. I don't know why, but my heart won't stop beating a mile a minute. I must admit, I'm still not great at interacting with young men. But I think I'm finally able to speak to Master Link while looking him in the eyes. Those wonderful eyes. Naturally, I still get a little embarrassed. I can't help it. I always follow his gorgeous gaze with my own. I believe his beautiful blue eyes. Ah, this is so strange. It's too straight. <laughs> too straight. <laughs> okay. If you need anything, please find it here in our village. Clothing shop, materials shop, general shop, and the inn should all be available to provide any, everything you need. Only just between you and me, there's a shrine in the hills of this village. They say up behind those hills resides Kakarika's guardian spirit. I hear she's incredibly beautiful. I'm too intimidated to go and see for myself, though. Mm. It's said that she offers a blessing to those who visit her. You should go there and see for yourself. Perhaps I already have. Hmm. I thought there was like a quest that like you could start over here. I don't know, maybe I need maybe there's another trigger that needs to happen for this quest that I'm thinking of. Cause I know it involves that heirloom that Kaya has, but maybe I'm supposed to do more before I get to that point. Hmm. I guess that's fine. Um, I can just go back to some stuff I was doing up here. Um, it's a bit awkward because I left my horse over there. Um, I mean, I could take that horse back over this way. Um, or I could just, you know, how about I just go to the Lost Woods, because I could go from Lost Woods to here, right? Or is... I don't know, I'll figure it out. I'm, I'm, I'm overthinking this. I'm gonna just go to the Woodland Tower. It's raining. Rude. Okay, let's change that. Uh... God, I have a lot of wood. Let's hope that gets rid of the rain. Oh my god, is it really still raining? Okay, I guess we'll go to noon. <laughs> Jesus. Let's grab the Royal Claymore. Uh, what's something we don't need here? Um, hmm. Well, shit. Um, oh, 
lot of his weapons are really good, and like keeping the fire sword around is really good utility. Uh, I guess a dragon bone spear because I think it's maybe the least useful here, right? Because like this one can be used as a torch, and that is about to be useful. So I actually couldn't this one be used as a torch too. Hmm. So maybe this one has better durability? I don't, I don't know. I actually have no idea. What do you think? Hmm. No, I'll, I'll drop the, the model and spear. It's really peaceful here. Look at the deer. It's pretty you didn't kill it in front of me. <laughs> You've done that so I, many I, times I, I thought about it. Uh, it was definitely a thought process that was happening. I decided against it though. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get lost. Oh, I should have mounted. Hmm. Oh well. So we found the lost woods. So the thing that's really cool about the lost woods. The fire always points in the direction you need to go. That's not too hard to guess just by the location of the braziers, because you can spot them just with your own eyes. So this one... I, okay, I think I see in the distance where it is. Alright, let me give you a torch here in case you don't have something that can act as a torch. Though, as I pointed out earlier, I have a Force Dweller Spear, and that should be able to be used as a torch. Because I think from this point on, they don't really give you much direction. So. Is this not actually acting as a torch? Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> huh. Awkward. You're gonna have to swap. So. Yeah, I guess I have to actually get a torch torch. Um... Well, I guess I'll just leave this here. Because if I need a torch torch... Yeah, because this one's actually giving off the sparks that I need. So go forward. Okay, go this way now. Keep going this way. Oh, there's a chest there. Oh, but that puts up the torch. That's a little bit dangerous. Um. Um. Nice. Let's hope I didn't screw myself. It was still pointing this way, I think. Um, oh, I'm a little scared. I saw torches and lights. Or what is that? I mean, you can see the 
I believe that's the laser oh. of um, Divine Beast Spot Meadow. I mean, I'll know pretty quickly if I'm getting lost because that will start to happen. Um, so it's probably maybe a bit more this way. I guess I'm correct so I'm not getting enveloped. I'm getting a shrine pink. Uh, maybe this way now? I guess this is another thing you could do, is that you could just recognize the signs of being lost and then double back a little bit. You could definitely trial and error this ship. Uh, okay. Is it more this way? Because I feel like I... This is where I'm getting the things, actually. So it probably is this way. Oh, you know what? This looks familiar. <laughs> oh my god, you're such a gamer! Brick's shield dies in front of the Deku tree. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Alright, I found the Karak Forest! You're such a gamer! And, uh, we have something pretty cool right here. It truly is a Master Sword Sunday. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you! Flash! Mm. Gotta get the flash back! Oh, who is that? Did I doze off again? Hmm. Well, well. It's you. You finally decided to return. Better late than never. After 100 years, I'd nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Even my patience has limits, you know. That look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness that only the chosen might can wield against the Calamity Ganon. Believe it or not, it was actually you who wielded that sword 100 years ago. But I must warn you to take extreme caution. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. As you are now, I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. If you sought to free the sword in any sort of naked <laughs> state, you would surely lose your life where you stand. That was so cute. <laughs> that was a funeral for the Korok. <laughs> Best of luck, young one. If you hope to pull the sword from its resting place, you must use your true strength. 
Let us see whether or not you currently possess said power. Alright. Oh, shit. I guess we'll find out. I'm I think I need one more heart container. Because I'm pretty sure it's 13 hearts you need, and I think I have 12 right now. Um But we'll go ahead and try, oh, maybe. That'd be insane if you did it. We'll try it. Oh. Uh, I probably <laughs> I'm probably really close actually. Yeah, it might literally be one more heart. That was what four t four <laughs> tugs? Yeah. yeah, that's so I probably need one more heart, or maybe maybe it's a couple more hearts. I we could look it up, uh, just to be sure. But anyways, you would have lost your life if you hadn't released your grip on the sword. Prepare before you try again, for I will not stay your hand partway through next time. All right, cool, and it gives me a free health reset. How many orbs do you have? So you only actually count. So I have no, not hearts. Um. Thingies from the shrines. Uh, zero. You have none right now? I just turned them all in. Is it three shrines in the forest here, or four? I, I, if it's four, that would be really useful. Um, because then I could do the four shrines and then try again. Um, assuming it is one more heart. It's one, two, three, four, shake. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I have twelve. So, Earthworld... Master Sword. Let's see how to get the Master Sword in the Breath of the Wild. Buh, 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 buh. Um, you'll need 13 full heart containers. Yeah, I'm literally one heart container away. Yeah, I was very, very close. Okay. There's four in this woods. That is perfect. All right. Sick. So here is our quest for today. <laughs> we're gonna get we're gonna get the fucking Master Sword on Master Sword Sunday. <sighs> Isn't that cool? Um, Stole more tree meat. You okay, Luke? I want, I want like juice and sweet. I want another root bridge well. <laughs> okay, maybe you're. Maybe you need to have some restraint. You had one yesterday. And. Okay, I'm not gonna <laughs> parent you right now. Um. <laughs> Hey, are you the hero? Could it be? Welcome to the Korok Forest. You're much, much cooler looking than I thought you'd be. But to be sure you're up to the task at hand, I prepared a trial for you. What do you think? Will you accept my trial? Um, is this Look at uh... those little steppies? <laughs> oh my god, that's really cute. Um, is this one of the shrines or is this a different um, thing? Look around. Can you look around right now? I mean, it doesn't really reveal anything. I think anything. this is a separate thing. Okay. Okay. You told me I didn't need to, and then now you're you said that you I said to. no. It doesn't matter if you don't need to. Then why did you tell me that I don't him. need to? You don't need to, but you can because he's cute. Oh my god, love. <laughs> now he's in a tree. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Show, oh, show me for out of power. Okay, so I, I need to come back with. Okay. Okay, I can't even do it right now, anyways. <laughs> so. Anyways. Look at him climbing on the log. He's walking in the wicked thing. <laughs> huh? You? Could it be? You're Mr. Hero! Mr. Hero is here! The mushroom on my head suddenly sprouted today, so I knew something was up. It was a prediction that you'd come! I think. Us Koroks all got together and prepared for some trials for you, Mr. Hero. You pass the very tough trials we've prepared. Pulling out the Master Sword will be a piece of cake. Probably. Among the trials is an extra tough one designed by me, the Elder of the Korok Forest. So will you test your mettle in the Korok Trials? Uh, what are these Korok Trials? Ah, you need to think about it first, wise boy. The Korok Trials! Long story short, you need to visit all the shrines of the 
Korok Forest so that you can be considered a real grown-up. It's a ceremony that every Korok must undertake, and it's based on the trials of the le legendary hero himself. I've done it, and so has Hestu, and him over there, and her, too. And even the great Dead creature himself has done it. Okay, that's the last part was a lie. He's pretty rooted. <laughs> Trial one! In the southwest forest. Trial of the second sight. Trial two. In the northwest forest. The lost pilgrimage. Trial three! In the eastern forest. The test of wood. If you can overcome the Korok trials, you can overcome anything. We've also prepared some wonderful prizes for you. Now show us what you, you're made of. Well, will you do it? I'll do it. Alright, do your best. Okay. Let me see the three, though. Are there only three, then? Mm, there should be a shrine, like, right in the middle here. That's not a trial. That's just a shrine. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's... Um, this is a, it's so you can fast travel. To this Korok's name is Peaks. Okay. It's 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 Mr. Hero. Yay, Mr. Hero, come to visit us in the forest. What? What, what took you so long? What voice am I picturing for them that I, it's familiar? Yeah. Peaks thought of a trial that will make Mr. Hero stronger. You won't have to fight, and it's not scary. But you'll need to be extra careful. So, I want to see a blue bee. It's a blue, glowy, hoppy thing that glows in the dark. Just about Peaks. Size. I, I I just really want to see a blue bee, even if it's a just a picture one. I'll help you out. I knew you were a nice guy, Mr. Hero. Thanks for listening to Peak's request. So uh, I don't know where they live, but I heard there's a little blue glowing critters hopping around Hyrule. Apparently they're called blue bees. I wonder what, how glowy they are. Aren't you curious? If you show me a blue bee, I'll be sure to thank you with a gift. Good luck. Do I happen to have a picture of a blue bee? No. Okay, so I need to go find a blue bee. Okay. Um. Okay, there's the shrine that's here. Okay. So yeah, let's get this one, and then we'll go do the other... The three trials. Is it like a... I forget, are the tr three trials like based around like the Triforce at all? Like like power, wisdom, courage? Uh, that would make sense, right? Because if it's based off like the legendary hero, like that's kind of just a pretty consistent um, theme in, in the Zelda games. I don't remember what the third one is. The test of wood, I know, you have to, that would probably be power, to like power through all the enemies. Okay. The one with the Korok that you follow is probably courage, because he's being a brave boy. I don't remember what the third one is. Okay. I don't, I don't. Well, if it's like a puzzle, that could be like wisdom, right? It's fateful stars. I'm look for another treat. <laughs> okay, love. <laughs> Look to the stars for guidance. The constellations are the key. Um, okay. Let's see, how many do we have here? So we have one, two, three, four, five. And we have. Okay. Well, we have three dots here, but we have like seven over here, so it can't be the number of dots. Oh, could it be the big ones? Because this one has one big one, but this one has three. Maybe that's it? Oh, but do I count from the top down or bottom up? Probably bottom up. Let's try that. Alright, let's see this side. Um, alright. One, oh god, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, no, that, it can't be. 
Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong about this then? Maybe it's not the number of the big ones? Because there's too many big ones on, on this one. Right? Unless I'm like misjudging the size. It almost seems like they come in like three sizes. Because like this one over here, like that top one over here is like really big. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. Okay, now now I'm confused. What's the consistent pattern across these? I'm... I guess what's throwing me off here is that, like... I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about the sizes? But I, like, I was, like, thinking, like, well, what if it's, like, the angles? But, like, this one has way too many angles as well. Um... Huh. Welcome back. I found a cookie and a juice. A cookie and the juice. A okay. sparkle and juice. <laughs> Trying to figure out what these constellations mean. Because I, I looked at these and I thought it might be about like the big ones versus like the bigger circles versus the smaller ones. It's like, there's like one there, and there's like three here, right? Okay. But then I get to this one, and it's just immediately is like, exceeds the amount, right? Because it's like, we got this small one next to Link's head, or not small, the big one. Uh, and then like, like this one's a similar size, this one's a similar size, that one's a similar size, that one's a similar size. Um... And look, there's like that's immediately like six, right? And that's more than the five slots that we have. Oh, did I count it right on this side? I did. Okay, the torches are actually also telling me the number. Of course, I don't even know if the numbers over here are correct. I don't know, maybe the, they had different rules on each side? It's like maybe the, maybe I was right about the circles here, but there's something else here. There's nothing on the other wall. What? On the other wall behind you? No. Okay. Huh. Do one on this one. Why one? one? Because it has the one big one. Okay, well, what would I do with this one? Because it's not going to activate anything until all four are set. I know, but you can trial and error. Like, that one was obviously one. And then the other one is obviously the one, too. I'm not as convinced, but okay. This side's a little complicated. So that's one of the other side. Can you speak up for your mumble Sorry. really hard? Um that's this side is obviously a little more complicated. So then try to figure out the other side first. Just like leave that one, whatever. That one has been but like Oh, so then just try each of them. If you're confident about the other side. Well I'm not confident because I'm not seeing a pattern that matches both sides. 
Um, the other side looks like one and three. Yes, which I have put in. Okay, so let's just try each one of these ones and see if it does it. Maybe I, this one is just conveying it weird. I guess, but I don't feel good about that at all. Um... Because it feels like I'm not figuring it out at all. I would all. guess four if I was going to guess, but maybe it's five. It's none of those. So, at, so at least um, one of the other ones is wrong, um, which does mean we, we're not recognizing a pattern. Um, so what the fuck is this though? That's the thing. Maybe it has to do with how many like Breakoffs it has, but the, this would also be well. Okay, so this has one break off, right? This one has one on that one, but then two on that one. That would still come to a total of three, right? Um, so I could leave those two if that's the logic. If I come over here, the one on the right has um, like one, two. Well, I don't know, I guess. What do you consider the break off there? Because like, because hmm. I don't think it's the amount of angle changes. If I wouldn't make sense either. It's like one, two. Oh god, I don't know. Go on top of the platform. And look at it from there, maybe you'll see something from far away is better. What's back there? Does that matter? Oh, this constellation's there. Oh. Okay. Sweet, so are we supposed to. There's multiple of the same pattern there. So it's how um, many of each pattern. That's how many go in. Let's go okay, to which one. Okay, 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 okay. Um. So. Four of the individual ones, small ones. Or five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I found one. one. Two. Where's the right okay, two? Okay, two. Right under it. Three. Three. Okay. Which I think we already have it in three. Okay. And that one. You okay, Lo? You're breathing really heavily. Because I'm eating. Sorry. Having a really hard time focusing. Um, so just is it just one? I hate that I can't actually zoom at a level that I see the whole thing. Use the camera. Yeah, just one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Gamer. 
Mm-hmm. Um... Okay, so mm -hmm. there's a little secret thing over here. What are you? How do we solve you? Yeah. What wall? Mm -hmm. Oh. But like how how? I can remember. No, but like how would I get back? I think it just stays open. Otherwise it wouldn't be on the side. Oh just do that. Okay, because a lot of the time they 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 have that closed back up in upper shrines. Um one, two, three, four. One, two, so four, two, four, four, two, 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 one. Okay. Thank you, I had an extra two, but yeah. Four, two, two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Four, two, two, one. It's clean work. Okay. I don't need a torch. Nope. You go to the next trial. I need a torch. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they all have different poses. I know, but it usually is. I, I, I think he was on his own. Yeah. I mean, there's always a little bit. It's not a very well optimized area. Liz, we got a friend here. Shalaka! It's you! We meet again! What's with the silent treatment? Don't you remember me? I'm the musician of the Korok Forest, Hestu! I'm impressed you found your way through the Lost Woods and made it here. So, have you brought me my Korok seeds? I sure hope so! If you return my last Korok seeds to me, I'll expand this size of your inventory. Well, let's expand our weapon stash, because we always need more weapons. I have a lot of Korok seeds. It bothered me that you had 59 and not Well, do you want to just hand me 10 more little shits? <laughs> Urge to bite you, rising. Oh my god. Uh, let's also expand our bow stash. Though we can certainly use more shields. Because I think it's the only stash that we haven't done any amount of upgrades to yet. But now that we have... Now that we've been to the Korok Forest here, um, we can always come here to expand. So that's nice.
Yeah, <laughs> to expand to the sun all. <laughs> He's got the blue glow. Bubble. Blue is for shield. Red is for weapon. Green is for bow. That's how science works. It makes sense. <laughs> it does. No, there's a very clear logic there. Because attack and defense in video games are most often associated with red and blue, respectively. Because red is just kind of viewed as an aggressive color, blue as a more defensive color. And then green is just a another color you could do. Green is passive. Green is... Green is good. Green means go. Green means go. <laughs> For being cool. <laughs> what was it we heard like last week? Congratulations on picking really great people. <laughs> I, I have no idea what you were referencing. I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember, and I don't have the energy to continue the recording. Uh, okay. I forget I said that. Okay. I don't have a Korok seeds for the bow. So I guess I could do more sh shield? Yeah. Or, uh, uh. You were, more you, were, eight. you were saying 69, though, weren't you? I think you might have said 59. No, 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 but more. you were saying if I had, like, if you had more, I could have 69. Was the, that if was, you like, had the joke. one more, you would have had 59. Okay. I, oh, yeah, a comment that you were one off from 60. You didn't say one. And you were just one wrong. Okay, well... I'm sorry, I thought you were going for the funny number instead of just a number that doesn't really have any meaning. It has meaning because it would have been an even number and you would have had enough for your Okay. Kid. Don't know what you want me to do about that. I'm not saying you do anything though. I'm just saying my brain was right. Okay. My OCD is satisfied with being right. Okay. I... Okay. <laughs> Nothing. Just say anything. Okay. Um, this is Maka. Let's ask about the forest. The highlights here in Korok Forest are the Great Deku <clears throat> Tree and the Sword Pedestal, of course. Although the Great Deku Tree probably isn't very happy about becoming a tourist trap. We've really checked out the inside of the Great, or decked out the inside of the Great Deku Tree. 
in anticipation of your arrival. You'll find a place to rest and a bunch of other useful things in there. And then there's that sword pedestal and the sword that seals to the darkness, which needs no introduction. It rests there. The sword pedestal is the center of the forest. If you stand on the pedestal and look around, you'll be able to understand most of the paths in the forest. The bean lamps act as the landmarks. You'll want to familiarize yourself with them to make it, make it easier to find your way around. And if you get turned around, you can always head on back to the sword pedestal. Uh, let's ask about the sword. The sword that seals the darkness to be wielded by you and you alone. You finally found it. We worked really hard to make sure no one else stumbled upon it. How do you like the Lost Woods? Did you get lost? Well, you obviously made it through because you're here. Uh, how do I leave? You want to leave the forest? But why? It's perfect here. We held hostage. Just kidding. I know you have to leave sometime. It's, you've got to save Hyrule. If you had it east from the sword pedestal, there will be a sign on your right. Find with the hill on the right side, and you'll see an ochre tree. If you walk to that tree's mouth, you'll whoosh be taken back to the entrance of the woods. We set it up that way because even us Koroks don't like to walk through the lost woods if we can avoid it. We instead like to be consumed by darkness. <laughs> what happens when I seal that darkness? <laughs> I got a soup ladle. Iron shrooms, those are pretty good. Okay. And then we can get rush shrooms. We can get stamina shrooms. We can get a hearty truffle. And razor shrooms. And then we got stuff over here like a hearty radish. You're my only customer, so if you want to buy or sell something, just let me know. We got apple, rice. Sugar, arrows. I, I sorry. <laughs> arrows. I want your arrows. Now I'm annoying myself. Okay. And we got shock arrows as well. We'll take all of those. We got a Korok bed. Is that a bean? Oh my god, it's a <laughs> bean! I never noticed this. It's a bean! That's so cute. Alright, um, how do I start the the shrine thingies? You go to the uh, they're not marked. Uh, okay, now they're marked. Okay. So there's like one over here. Uh, you know, can't see shit through the uh, through the trees on the map. Um, what Korok path? What Korok path? On. <laughs> you know, like, 
is like a perfect man. Then why did you tell me to to do something I like I wasn't doing it already? Because I was already on here, so it made me think millis, that I should no, go away. The millisecond before I started my sentence, you were not on the path. I you was I path. was firmly on the path no. the moment you started speaking. Well, um, yes. And I and like when you started. Okay. The millisecond before I started my sentence, you were not on the path that you were. Okay. But do you not. Bad timing. Yes. Well, now I'm leaving. Don't tell me. Okay, well. <laughs> Why? What happened? Um. Just kind of ends. Um. I'm confused. Where I, I need directions. If you're just gonna say keep going when I'm like actively like turning, that's gonna confuse me. That's that's lost woods. No. When you're going like way too high from what I. Give me directions instead of vagueness. Give me directions when we're looking at a screen. D d d d well, then what? Are you Go back to the middle. <laughs> Babe. Let's just start over. The master sword. Okay, look in the direction over there. No, it's left more. Left more. More. See how there's a light over there? Where I just was. There. Yes, but go through there. Maybe there's a car at the entrance that you need to talk to. Just keep going. Don't turn your camera, just follow the, this path. Okay. This is just a circle around the Deku tree. What is this leading to the one I was pointing at? Because this looks like it's leading to that one. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, that's why I was like looking around, love. <laughs> confusing me so I couldn't really help you. Okay, well, I mean, you were the one kind of imposing yourself to, to like, direct me. Because you were saying, like, well, where is this? This is I'm confused, and you're confused. I was well, if you don't actually know, then why are you... Find my own bearings to try to help you. <laughs> okay. I feel like all of that was unnecessary. Like, I'll go this way for this one, I guess. Um... Oh, is this the one where you gotta... It's the brave one! Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. What are you doing sneaking up on me like that? You scared me! Leave me be, okay? I'm gonna do this trial on my, all on my own. I've made up my mind. Okay, so this one... I want to be sneaky. Because we gotta, like, escort him without him knowing that we're escorting him, right? Doesn't he have a brother you're supposed to talk to? That fights the, the I trial? have no clue. Because he's supposed to be like, hey, watch my brother, please. 
The girl from the club. Like, here? I don't... You're looking in one direction instead of turning your camera around, so I don't know where he's at. But I'm pretty sure there's another Korok here. Around there. here? Yes, obviously. That's what I was asking. I, I think the context is very clear, but that's what I'm asking. This one is just trying to turn you. I... Okay, like, I... I you were very inconsistent about whether or not turning my camera helps or, or hinders you. I said just turn your camera around because you're looking in one direction and then you started walking away from the Gorok you were just with. I was turning the camera, but okay. No, you weren't. You were just walking away. I just wanted you to stay in one place and turn the camera around. And now we don't know where the Gorok is. <laughs> I feel like you have an overly specific way of analyzing things, and you can't deviate from that at all. Yeah. I said, just rotate the move the camera around. Stop moving, Link. Just are you not capable? Around. If I'm doing this, are you not capable of perceiving anything? Because well, that's what it feels like you're because doing. Because you're not moving the camera. Are you around. looking at Link or around Link? Because if you're looking at Link, then yes, that will confuse you. If you're looking around. Of like beyond link, then that shouldn't confuse you at all. He is like full around. Full around. I I have given you that like five okay. times here. Now you have, but initially you were not. You were still complaining that I wasn't doing it. So like I I have no idea what you're asking anymore because I've <laughs> given you what you're asking for and you're still unsatisfied with me. So what the fuck do you want? You want but okay. Like. What now? Like, I've done exact- oh my god. Literally, all I needed was this. No, hey, how is what I did at here? all functionally Let's different? How is what I did at all functionally different? Because you went this way for a Gave long me my time, fucking controller. and then you didn't turn around to the other side at all. So what I did is I was here, and I was doing this, uh, you did not. How is that functionally That's different? That's not what you did. You're not paying attention, then. I, I am. I thoroughly disagree. I didn't care what I did. And your eyes are wrong, I guess. <laughs> like... Get... <laughs> like... Like, love, I... I, I, I it, you not see how this is just really frustrating? Okay, anyways, I found fucking person. Oh, you! You're Mr. Hero, right? You're gonna do the Korok troll? Yes, yes? Sure. I knew it. I, I'd like to ask you a favor, then. My little Oki just set off to do the Korok trial. Normally I'd go along, too, but Oki insisted on going alone. I let Oki go, but, well, now I'm just getting worried. Could you please follow Oki without being seen? I want to make sure nothing bad happens. Okay. So, I don't know why that Korok wasn't there earlier, but... He was, but we couldn't see him. Can you... How sure are you of that? visual on him. Okay. Oh shit, I'm like, God, I can't see him. And you're like, oh my god. <laughs> the visual of that. It's like, he's like over here and you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> he actually blends in with the grass. I couldn't see him. Oh shit. Rez is out of Twitter jail. Well, that's good.
and get this picture with his Twitter jail. Is that out of Twitter jail, bitch? And then put this picture <laughs> of Cora. It's the like Barbie mugshot joke pictures that everybody posting. Rocks being brave. Pretty flowers, indeed. Halfway there. The way he waddles is so cute, though. Oh no! I didn't realize he was waddling his way back. <laughs> He's genuinely hard for me to see, by the way. Um, like, I only see, like, the vaguest of motions. Um, <sighs> Alright, well, I have to do that again. This explains why I lost him the first time. He actually just fucking books it for, for, through this section for some reason. But then he like waddles the rest of the way. That's fucking weird. And there's like nothing going on here. Oh, tree branch fell.
test of patience. It really is, because it's just like, I'm just kind of here. And it's like, the thing is, like, I, I feel like I could barely focus on anything else, because if I lose track of him for, like, 0. 0.2 seconds, that's that's all I need for him to suddenly fucking notice me, because I don't realize how close I am to him. Yeah, so that's where he got me last time. Yeah, man, I, I feel bad because this is probably just really fucking boring to watch. It's fine. Yeah, it's just, it just feels yeah. shit though. It's yeah. like, I'm just here and I'm like, yeah. I can't think very strongly. Like, it's, it's like, I'm just, I have to keep my eyes. On this Korok that looks that blends into the grass so fucking easily. Like I've, I, fuck, I actually don't. Can I see you can you can okay, okay. Question mark is what I needed to actually see him. Yeah, he, he's checking the position that I was at. Okay. okay I'm gonna grab these, uh... What are they called again? The blue nightshade? Night yeah, blue nightshade. <laughs> Oh god, he's coming. Oh. oh, the fucking wolf! Oh, now I have to do it all again. Oh. You want me to do it? Cause I can't no! Do it <laughs> it's... Unless you come back, to, or unless you do this one off, off thing, oh, but you want to do Masters on today. Yeah, that's a thing. It's just. Well, here, let's go do another one. No, no, I'm here. It's just I gotta do it. It's, it's just this one sucks if you have to do it a lot. Um, that's the thing. It's just. It's it's like you know how there's a game dev thing where it's like let's put in escort quests because that's never the most complained about type of quest in video games, um, and they managed to make it worse. <laughs> Like, this is so much worse than your typical escort quest. Oh my god. Because it's like, it's not an escort quest where, like, you try to be hidden, but, like, you're doing stuff. It's like, nope, you just follow. Because I feel like there was a, like, um... Oh, I think I know what it is. In, like, a, I think in, like, Mass Effect. Mass Effect 2, I believe. There's, like, a, um... There's a quest that's kind of similar where, like... You gotta be sneaky. Like, you have to, like, tail someone without getting noticed. Um, but, like, I seem to recall you actually do stuff when that's going on. I, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm misremembering that one. It's been a while since I played Mass Effect. Um... I mean, maybe, maybe I'm just dead wrong about the Mass Effect quest, I don't know. Uh, if, if Rez were here, I could probably just ask him, but like, because he probably remembers it better than I do. Um... But yeah, I don't know, it's just like, I wish uh, you could be a bit more active about this. Because it's just kind of... Follow him, but he's really hard. Like he blends into the grass so easily. Like I, it's like that. I'm like it's like I'm fucking like one of the fucking Velociraptors from Jurassic Park right now because I see him mostly through motion, rather than actually seeing him. Um.
And I'm sure it was done on purpose, by the way. I don't think this is, like, Nintendo not realizing this would be, like, hard, that he would be hard to see or whatever. It's probably exactly what they wanted to do. Um, but yeah, it's just a, it's just a bit too passive, man. It's and it's very long. <laughs> Let's see everything. It, it's very, it's very passive and very long. And fuck, I lost track of them. Where to go? 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, God. It took so long to spot. Oh, okay, so we're at the flower. God, we're like, we still have like most of this. Well, or I guess like technically. <laughs> Way there. <laughs> he just told you. Oh, we're halfway there. Whoa, what if you just climb on top of this log? Oh. Take my hand. Throw me off a bridge. Oh, dying because I don't care. <laughs> Oh, God. You see, I like the Koroks a lot. It's just... Oh, God, this one is... This one's just a baby. Don't insult a baby. I'm not insulting... I'm not insulting him. I'm insulting the fucking class. It's just... It's just it's, it's, it's... Like, I think the first time I did this, I was, like, kind of okay with it, but, like, this is, like, you know, the literal second time I'm doing it, and I'm like, I... I, oh, I don't... I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just I'm too impatient now. You say as you're spinning in place. But, well, yeah, because I'm like, I, I'm, there's nothing to do. <laughs> this is genuinely me spinning in place is like the most entertainment I can get out of this because, oh my god, it's just like waiting for him to fucking just go. Remember when I showed you when the grubs did this shrine to us? And we and we... <laughs> And now we still make the joke about shooting with an arrow. <laughs> oh shit, I lost him. Uh, okay, I guess he's up there. Wait, isn't this where the wolf was? Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Can't see shit. see it if it's there. See him. Uh oh. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, there he is. Take the shot. It's a headshot. Okay, careful. Uh. Just wait for a little. I see the shrine. <laughs> I don't is see. Is that actually this right? Okay. There's the shot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are we finally gonna do it? Yep. Go to. You gotta wait till he says like, "I made it, yay!" and then you can go up to him. Because if you do it early, go up the turbo part. Yay. Yay, I made it! I finished the trial! <laughs> Me too, bud. <laughs> what? Who's there? Hey, are you that hero guy? Yeah, you know, Mr. Hero. Guess what, Mr. Hero? I did the trial all by myself. Aren't I brave? Yes, you are, and I'm very patient, apparently. <laughs> Had to do it three fucking times. <laughs> oh yeah, you're probably here for the shrine. Uh, the great Deku Tree said that the monk's blessing is waiting in the shrine ahead. Why don't you take a look? <laughs> you go in like patience blessing or something like that. <laughs> the blessing of patience. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Even the monk is just like died like that. Like the fuck. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow, we're halfway there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you 
Ay. He who enters the shrine has so much patience. By entering this place, you've already proven your worth. Can you believe that guy? I mean, Dag Choka's blessing. <laughs> okay, an ancient chords pretty useful actually we got a car I got a rock <laughs> core rock <laughs> cheers to the kingdom logo <laughs> <laughs> yeah it I, I do look forward to making core rocks <laughs> no. I do look forward to the type of shit I'll be able to do in tears of the kingdom uh, when I get to that I can't wait to crucify Korok. I'm. I can't wait to crucify <laughs> this specific Korok. <laughs> I guess we'll find. <laughs> but um. What was his name? Did he have a name? Oki. Oh, yeah, I have to Oki. remember that. See if he exists. Oakley, Doakley. <laughs> that was God saying. Shut up. It's funny because Flanders is really into God. Yeah, he's like mega Christian. Oh, I meant like he's got into him. Sorry. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, somebody mosquito bites. Mosquitoes. See, is it faster to just be consumed? <laughs> Goes the right way. Hold on. <laughs> I mean, they could. I... <laughs> Just trying to get consumed. I mean, now I'm actually like, hey, what if I do find the, the right way back? That'd be kind of funny. Um, yeah, well, time to get consumed. You cheated by going over the rock. I just said, no. That rock does not have a core. <laughs> Take the shot. <laughs> this one's so shaky. Shut. Sure. Great job in the trial! I was cool and composed the whole time! That's a lie. You almost shat yourself when you saw a shadow. Why can't we didn't get a Korok seed then? Because he didn't actually shadow. Hmm. Oh, that's right, I actually don't have shield equipped. <laughs> like, why am I not shield surfing here? Why am I not shield surfing on my hopes and dreams? <laughs> yeah, the frogs on the right were pretty. Uh, they, they're they're go they were going to patch mode. Shook it. So I'm at the next trial location. Is there a quark here? Oh, yes, there is. Zuki, a Hylian seeks to attempt the Korok trial. Is that even allowed? Racist. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Are you here to attempt the Korok trial? Of course. Yeah. Oh wow, you really want to try it? I guess it was worth asking after all. Let me tell you about the trial. 
All you need to do is keep going and not get lost in the mist. Easy, right? What's wrong? You don't look very excited. Don't worry. I've got a cryptic little hint for you. The hungry trees will show you the way. Spy their iron to win the way. Iron? Win the day. What did I say? Iron? What? Iron? You said iron. Okay. Not iron. Okay. Didn't I make that sound cool? <laughs> Think about that as you take on the trial. So, hungry trees with iron in them? You gotta go through with my nieces all the time? I guess. Oh. But like... Are they hiding anything, or is it just... It's just they have stuff to Okay. Um... Okay, this works. <sighs> oh, hello. Ew. I don't think they were they are affected by this. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Boko Fang. I thought you were gonna say Boko Fat. <laughs> <laughs> It's the it's the boob of Boko Fett. Like Boko Tan. Boko Fang. Is this where I just came from? Oh wait. Wait, wait shit. Which one did I just come from? Uh. Um... I think this is right. I think so too. Yeah, because I have not been here. Oh shit. It's a rusty shield. A boat. Why were they both going to the same body? Oh, there's a little dock here. Wait, go back to where those torches were. There was like a sign or something there. There's a leaf in the water. Um, feed me the age shield guardian guarded by monsters eternal. My brother will repay you in kind. Okay. Yum, yum, yum. Yummy shield. <laughs> Just bleh. <laughs> Vomits out of fucking chest. Gross. Amber. Actually, too. But it do. 
Please place my chest in my mouth. The shields, eater brother stole it from me. Bruh, you forget the chest. Uh, I can't believe we're dealing with a family drama here. <laughs> he stole my chest. There we go. Do you feel like water tastes like pennies? Um, if it's only if it has like a metallic flavor to it, because you know pennies are made of copper and zinc, right? I don't know. <laughs> if you put pennies in a pool, <laughs> would it not keep you from getting some zinc? And maybe in adjacent, they reflect the sun, so you don't get sunburned. That that's not how that works. I'm tired. <laughs> Usually on these holidays, I'm I'm in bed. I think I'm a little sleepy. A little bit. A giant ancient court. Wow. Okay. You just got kissed. Wow. I'm gonna smile upon you. I'm going to disintegrate. Disintegrate. That's what the word is. Bye. <laughs> Man, these Sheikah monks really just be like, dip. Meet Morphe. 
Are you ready? Are you ready? No. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that voice? Are that was really good? weird for me. I, I'm fine. Um, <laughs> hey, hero guy. I was told you'd be coming. Do you really think you've got the test of wood? I'll show you wood. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Some say it's the hardest of the core. I'll show you the hardest of the core. <laughs> Some say it's the hardest of the Korok trials. Uh, but it's not complicated. All you need to do is equip the Korok weapon set. Reach the shrine at the back of the area. I'll show you the back of an area. Uh, you ready to try? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go go. You have to keep the sword, bow, and shield equipped the whole time. They break or you unequip them, you're out. Keep that motherfucking thing um, on me. Your inventory's full. You need to make a space. Are for you us. kidding me? Oh my god. You have a leaf. <laughs> That's the only thing you could. Fuck the leaf. Fuck the leaf. <laughs> Why? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a better way. Yeet! Okay, so I can't let these See if break. you can do it first try. I don't remember this trial. Just there's a lot of enemies in the way. It's All you have to do is obstacle. reach the shrine in the back of the area. Off you go. It's basically an obstacle course with enemies. The time? I remember the time. No. Mm. Uh, here's an idea. Some may call this cheating. Some may call it. Uh, just dressing like a woodland being from the times past. So <laughs> should they know that? <laughs> oh my god, a fairy! Oh my god! Whoa! I should have gotten fairies at the... Wow, well, they're sending things that I could just see through Majora's Mask. This is bullshit. This game is bullshit. Uh... <laughs> Can I not fly these? <laughs> there we go. Alright, now we're good? Right? Yeah? Don't shoot me? Okay, cool. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Fly! 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 Oh god, oh god. Oh fuck! Oh Jesus. Lucky muck. Okay. And off the rocks. Ew. Uh... Never seen me! Such a gamer! I thought you died. Oh my god. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good, decent sword. Uh, I'll think so specific. Hard. Um. Fucking kidding me, Link? That's... You suck so bad at climbing. Bullshit. Um. Well, it it it'll, no, just go. Are you sure? I think so. Um. Just keep what you killed, killed. 
Okay. have an updraft being created. Um guess I do that. Mm -hmm. Alright. Nice. Yay! <laughs> that one's just chaotic. Well done, hero man. Happiness awaits you at the shrine. Oh yeah! If you ever just want to do the trial again, just let me know. See ya! <laughs> Magalan Shrine. Oh my goodness. <sighs> that was... Almost done. Almost, yeah, I'm almost done here. Get blessed. <sighs> hey, Nari. <laughs> Nobody saw that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Giant ancient core. So why? Hold on. Do they really give me giant ancient cores? For the one that isn't the escort quest, and the escort quest was the most annoying one. <laughs> I guess it's because, like, it doesn't really have- it's not, like, hard, it's just, like, you have to- uh, okay. Yeah. I know. Because the, 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 the reward was the journey. <sighs> Oofing myself is gonna be the great journey. The big hat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped your cat. <laughs> <laughs> you just get eaten by the fog. Yeah. Is there a blood moon happening right now? There might be. Let me get it Link. Link. You're right there! <laughs> Really funny if it consumed you when you jumped on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Link! Your blood made your ass is me, 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 She's fucking struggling in Hyrule Castle. We're just bullying her. 
<laughs> oh no! A blood moon! Whatever shall we do? Um, wait, I need to turn things in first. Uh, I was about to grab that, but I need it. Let's also change your clothes. Is there a statue? Yes. I hope so. I hope so. Where? Oh, it's like it's a wall. <laughs> You did so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I should make a Zelda line for Pandora charms. A heart container would be a really cute charm. Alright, what should be my aesthetic for pulling out the Master Sword? What should be my aesthetic for pulling out? <laughs> Babe! Babe! <laughs> now that looks like a man that knows how to pull out. <laughs> <laughs> the helmet stays on! <laughs> He <laughs> <laughs> looks somehow more masculine with no pants. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, that's not a bad look. Um, Did you see his Ninja Turtle feet now? Yeah, no, I, I saw that. It just wasn't common. Make him wear that. <laughs> maybe the hood, no. or maybe. He looks too bulky. That that shirt. Think. Oh yeah. Well, is it so? Is it better with like the phantom greaves or with the um, stealth tights? Either one. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll do the stealth tights. Unless I go tingle. <laughs> I'm going tingle mode. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, let's go draw the Master Sword. You should have talked to that other guy. Okay, fine. I'll go talk to the other guy. <laughs> yeah, we had like a thing. Oh yeah, you didn't actually technically complete the trials because you didn't talk to him. You finished all the trials? Wow, that's amazing! You're so cool! Well, it sounds sarcastic. <laughs> now it's so only a matter of time before you're able to pull out the Master Sword. Hurry up and show us what you got! I was! <laughs> oh, I know that look. You want me to give you something since you visit all the places, don't you? I guess I have no choice. I'll give you my treasured item. Ooh, wow. that's actually pretty good, though. Try an eating dish cooked with that big hearty truffle. It'll soothe all your aches and pains, and then some. I'm not pulling your branch here, just What are you doing yourself. to my branch, man? <laughs> Jeez. Alright, alright. <laughs> now are we ready? Yes. <laughs> what the fuck did I say to me? Oh my god. Had exactly enough. Oh my god. Wow. Oh 
shit! Got the master sword. Your master will come for you. Until then, you shall rest safely here. Although the slumber of restoration will most certainly deprive him of his memories, please trust me when I say that I know he will arrive before you yet again. If I may be so bold, what is it that you are planning to do next, princess? The Master Sword. I heard it speak to me. It seems that my role is unfinished. There is still something I must do. I sense there is great strength in your dedication. Great Deku Tree, I ask of you, when he returns, can you please relay this message? Tell him I... Now then, words intended for him would sound much better in the tones of your voice, don't you think? Yes. All shiny and new again. What you just saw happened where you stand one hundred years ago. After you were separated from the sword, the princess thought to bring it here where she knew that it would be safe under my watch. She continues to fight. Trapped deep within the confines of Hyrule Castle. Her heart cascades with faith that you will return. She has a smile like the sun. I would do much to feel its warmth upon me once again. That's really cute, actually. I don't remember that. But it was kind of like, not like Tears of the Kingdom broken, but it was like broken a little bit. How does it feel? Yes, I was going to make like a jokey comment about like how it's like, it'll sit here for a hundred years where it will somehow lose dust. But like, I started thinking about that. Like, I actually think the pedestal literally does actually restore it. Um, that it like, because like there's that like blue shine, right? As it was like put it back in and stuff right but there's not like already lore about how it, it what it how it restores energy or anything no just like the the lore that exists is basically like the sacred flames that you imbue it with in skyward sword kind of because of their divine flames of the the golden goddesses they kind they imbue the sword with this like sacred like ability to kind of like maintain its like sharpness and stuff like that and it's like and its ability to um actually like fend off like ganon but and stuff. flames and that well that's like yeah cause, fire well yeah because you're like forging it essentially um so do we have to take the master sword into the kingdom to mordor and throw uh, it into the place <laughs> well it would be the opposite of the border because you, you're, you're going to like holy places rather than like this like cursed place um <laughs> But, like, um, yeah, I don't know what it's going to be in, in Tears of the Kingdom. Um, and obviously, anyone who knows, don't say anything about it. But, like, um, but yeah, it, it's, but, like, I'm thinking here that the pedestal itself probably actually does 
um, have magical properties in the sense that, like, it restores, or it, like, it can be, kind of like how Link is placed in the Shrine of Resurrection to restore him. I think the pedestal is kind of like a a sort of restoration shrine, in, but for the Master Sword. Um, so, um, I'm not entirely certain about that, but, like, it, it would make sense, it would, like, make sense as to why that's, like, part of why it gets placed back into the pedestal at the end of every, like, game that it's used. But it's also that, like, the Master Sword is only supposed to be used for, like, the most, like, sacred and, like, uh, dire of circumstances, right? And that would be specifically to strike down Demise, um, or the reincarnation of Demise in the form of Ganondorf. But, um, yeah. Anyway, so the text here says, The legendary sword that seals the darkness, its blade gleams with a sacred luster that can oppose the calamity. Only a hero chosen by the sword may wield it. Hmm. That blade has a name. It is the Master Sword. When used against Calamity Ganon or those tainted by his malice, it will become suffused with holy light. Hmm. At such times, the true power of the sword will manifest. But be warned, do not rely too much on its power. If you wield it without need, its power will be exhausted, and it will no longer be of use to you. Should this happen, you must wait for the sword to recover. We'd be rash to rely on the sword alone to defeat Ganon. I suggest you free to the Divine Beast before facing him. Oh. So yeah, uh, so the Master Sword, um, pretty cool in the sense that it's just like a weapon that you just have. It's not, like, amazing in terms of its damage, as you can see here. Like, 30 compared to, like, just a royal broadsword does more, right? But, um, Master Sword is best used against, uh, things, like, in, like, Divine Beasts. And, like, in, and, like, things of creatures of malice, essentially. So that'd be, like, the Blight Ganons, Calamity Ganon, um, Guardians, uh, stuff like that. Um. And used against that, it will deal 60 damage instead of 30. That's pretty fucking useful. And it's basically the circumstances in which I pull this out. The other thing that's useful about it, um, as, like, um, Deku Tree just kind of explained there, is, like, you can use it, but it won't, like, break like your other weapons. It'll just kind of run out of energy and then need time to restore. So I basically always have a backup weapon, and that's nice. Are you going to be done for today, or are you going to keep going? No, I still want, I, I wanted to go up to Typhlo Ruins, because I wanted to also, like, to kind of continue, like, the, uh, sacred and mysterious forest vibes. Okay. Um, and then, like, I should probably get the, the towers over here, and maybe I'll go up to Akala, and oh. maybe I'll end up with the, with the labyrinth again. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Um. I'm going to go out and maybe sleep. Okay. Um, that was cool. Yeah, no, that was cool. Um, I kind of need a piece. I might take a, a break here anyway, so. Um, but, yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I at least want to do Typhoon of Ruins. I'm, I'm kind of playing it a bit by ear. Like, I'm not, like, committed to specific stuff um, necessarily. It's just, you know... I'm, do I'm doing stuff. Not every stream's gonna have, like, a hard set plan, because it's just... Breath That's kind of the thing about Breath Wild. It's like, you just run around and do stuff um, until you run out of stuff to do, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah. Anyways, um... Like I said, I I need a I need a pee, and you want to go to bed, so I'm I'm gonna go ahead and just put us on a break screen. So I'll be back.
All right, I'm back. Sorry for the long break. Um, hopefully it wasn't too long. I, I, I guess I'll find out when I archive this. Um, all right, so like I said before we were going, I went on the break. I want to do the Typhlo Ruins because it's another like mysterious forest area. Um, and maybe we'll go explore, grab like the, the towers for Death Mountain and the Akala region and maybe work our way up towards the labyrinth at the top of Akala? I don't know. We'll play it by ear. Um, what's the best way out of here? Uh, probably just the tower again. <sighs> Alright, here, let me retweet. Because Rez got out of Twitter jail, which is good. I don't know how many of you even are aware of this. Like, people watching this on my screen might not even know. Especially if you're on YouTube, because I'm not even sure if my YouTube Elon people... Oh shit, you're, you're here! Hi! <laughs> dick. Jeez, hi, Rez. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I summoned you. <laughs> also, I'm being summoned in the game. What's going on here? Um, the time has come. You are now ready to test the limits of your courage. As the at the place where you were reunited with the Master Sword of the Sacred Korok Force, which I just left. I just got the Master Sword, and it's already telling me to go back. Oh, that's right, it's because of the Master Sword Trial DLC. Um, yeah, I don't care. I'm not doing that. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Anyways, hi, Chris. All points, no quills. <laughs> Looks like two orbs and a bong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so I guess uh, both for uh, Twitch and YouTube audiences um, who may who probably aren't aware because it's like only really talked about in our Discord, but um, uh, ResDog's Twitter, like, what was it? Oh shit, there's a fucking uh, thingy. I'm, okay, I'll, I'll talk about it while I float over there. Um, ResDog's Twitter got suspended, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, was, yesterday. Yeah. I was put in Twitter jail. Yeah, your yeah your account got suspended, and the reason <laughs> the reason was really dumb, because they they said that you were tr they banned your account because they thought your account was like an alt account Evading, yeah. to of trying to evade another suspension, but like as far as I know, that's literally your only account on Twitter. Um, like I don't know, maybe you have an alt account, but um. I don't know of one that you have, and I don't have one, um, so. I have considered doing alt accounts, uh, cause I'm like, maybe I should, cause like, I've talked before about how, like, I have a lot of different aspects of Twitter that I'm involved, like, I have, like, Zelda Twitter, political Twitter, streaming Twitter, um, and there's, like, crossovers with these, so it's part of why, like, I haven't, like, Bob Revolt and stuff. And there's, like, a handful of other things that I, like, have Twitter for, um, but, like, um, okay, there's a Korok thingy over there. Um, but, yeah, in general, um, I, I just decided, like, the, uh, oh, do I have to match it across the way? Oh. Um, I don't know, I, like, some people do Twitter alt accounts. I never bothered with one. Um, as far as I know, Rest Dog never bothered with one. It's really bullshit that he got banned for uh, half of evading... You got suspended for evading suspension, which is... which is It's like the idea of, like... I mean, I guess in a way it's fitting that it happened to you, a brown person, because it's kind of like... Um, it's kind of like the, the like reason for being arrested is resisting arrest. Yep. <laughs> you know, where it's like, what are you being arrested for? Resisting. Well, <laughs> motherfucker, what am I being arrested for? Um... Anyways, um, glad to hear that that got fixed, because uh, actually a lot of people's accounts were getting wrongfully suspended. Um, like, I know a lot of artists and stuff were getting um, hit with that, because 
Probably because they were trying to get rid of, like, graphics design bots, to be honest, if I had to guess. Because, look, as streamers, <laughs> we know there's a fuck ton of them. Um, all you have to do is put, like, something, something Twitch in, like, you know, a, a tweet somewhere, and, like, you'll suddenly find out about the existence of so many accounts that all have GFX in their bio. And... Well... <laughs> Let me put it this way. It would be sure be nice if literally any of those ever showed up to one of my Twitch streams to indicate that actually maybe they are genuinely interested in making me emotes or whatever. But none of them ever do. So... That's why I never respond to them. Because <laughs> honestly, in all sincerity, if there was a graphics ar design artist on Twitter that, like, decided to follow me, um, on and then, like, they came over to my Twitch stream and, like, actually, like, got to know me a little bit, then that would be a different story, right? Because now it's like, oh, I actually have some reason to believe that you understand, like, my appeal and what's, like, interesting about me and what people might enjoy, right? But without that... Who am, like, what, what am I supposed to, like, like, no, I'm not gonna send money to someone who's not even, doesn't even know who the fuck I am. Who are you? I'm not sorry. <laughs> Spamming you with all these messages. <laughs> Won't you send me money? Yeah, actually, hold on. Speaking of spamming messages, let me open my, my, uh, messages on Twitter. Let's just see. Also, I wish I. I need there's to also myself. there's also a lot of porn bots. So some some of these are that I'm looking at. Just porn bot. Yeah. Uh, I need to get better at just ad libbing random lyrics. <laughs> Wait a minute. Also, can I say I love when I quote tweeted my out of Twitter jail was it post? I'm glad I had that image in my phone. <laughs> wait, wait, so, wait, hold on. So I just noticed something. There's a a a Twitter DM from a. Uh, GFX and VFX artists here uh, that I promptly ignored for the reasons I just gave. But also, this same person sent me a friend request on Discord, and the mutual server is a Destiny server. Um, oh. They might. Wait, does this actually a person? Does this actually a person? The rumor come out. Um. Huh. Well, I, here, let me put it this way. Um, I guess since this is one I happen to be talking about, graphics artist stuff, um, if, let's see, if this person, I'm trying to figure out if I want to even, like, say any part of their name. You know, it's two names. I'll give the first name because it's, like, a kind of, it's a generic enough first name here that I don't think it'll be, like, giving anything away. But if Penelope sees this this stream, either on Twitch or on YouTube, um, and you're actually a person that actually wants to like do something with me um, in terms of like my branding or whatever, um, yeah, just actually like send me a message directly on Discord because like you don't need as at least you shouldn't need to, my my I shouldn't need to accept your friend request for you to be able to do that because I have I've been able to do that with other people like. Um, cause like, like, like I think like Ocelot and, and Squid, like we had like groups with them before I was even officially friends with them. Hell, I'm not even sure if I'm technically friends with all of them. Um, point being like, if this Penelope person is actually a person, um, and not like a bot that got into my friend's Discord, um, server, um, and also found me on Twitter, uh, if you're actually a person, so like, let me know. <laughs> Sudden, I might suddenly treat differently, um, because I, I get much spam to give a shit about some random one-off message that isn't hasn't made any real human connection, you know. <laughs> um. Anyways, um. Oh, by the way, what's it? I just saw something very neat. <laughs> okay. It? So. Uh, what's it? Because I went part time, now what was it? I now lost the gap. Was it? I but my benefits have been was it ceased now because they gave me an extra year. Because you know benefits are for full timers at my work. Okay. But whatever. 
among those benefits was I have an HSA that my wait are you, are you not are you not technically full time? No, no. Let me, let me keep my benefits for a year despite not qualifying. <laughs> okay, well that's good. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because you you get three days off, don't you? Yeah, I remember. I, yeah. I, remember I like this job because I'm working less but making more. Yeah. To be Way fair, less. to be fair though, I do think a four day work week should be standard. Um, yeah. I think, I think four days a week should be the standard. I also think 30, um, hours should be... Should qualify full-time. Should qualify as full-time. I think 20 should, should qualify, but I'd be willing to compromise for 30. Um. Yeah, anyways, so I'm using my HSA right now to buy some trauma and first aid kits. Oh my god, I'm having such a hard time with this cube. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, yeah, I'm struggling. Among the benefits I had was... Every was well, every pay cycle. My work, not from my paycheck. My work would deposit a. Actually, no, no, no. Out of my check would be a certain percentage, but then my work would match the same percentage into what's called an HSA. It's literally just an account that's purely for oh either medical, like medical, medical expenses. So, since I no longer have that benefit, the account is still there. It's just that I'm not paying into it anymore. So I'm like, eh, I might as well get some stuff for it. And I gotta say, I'm like cruising through this site that uh, Ocelot recommended to me, because for those of you know, who might not know, Ocelot works as, uh, well, he used to be an EMT. He still maintains his EMT training and licensure. <laughs> and he actually showed me this website. Where, yeah, uh, I got it! <laughs> oh my yeah, god, yeah. that was such a struggle! <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? But it's like, it, it's, you have to, like, perfectly fit them in there. That's kind of hard. Anyways, carry on. Anyways, yeah, so show me this website where basically he's just like, yeah, no, this, this site is really good because I don't know where to, like, I know, like, beyond, I know where to get, like, basic first aid kits, but, like, I'm, like, actually wanting, like, the full board, like, good, high quality <laughs> shit. <laughs> hmm. And the thing is, though, you gotta really look around because, like, some, a lot, there's actually quite a few sites that are like, buy this, you know, high quality first aid kit. It's literally like, you, you can get in, like, a Walgreens, but they charge, like, five times the price. Yeah. Yeah. And well, the materials are shoddy and yeah, all that, all that, you know, all that type of typical stuff. Yeah. This site is where Ocelot, when he was an EMT, where his work and he would be getting his supplies for this. <laughs> And I just saw a little thing in the in the site that's uh, kind of cool, like kind of cool of the site. It says, "What is it? Literally this: If you save a life using our products, we replace the entire thing for free." Oh, that's kind of dope, actually. Yeah, and they're like these are like not cheap kits. <laughs> like, how expensive are we talking about here? So. So right now I have a crap load of my HSA and that's I'm literally just going full medical with it. Mm -hmm. So my right now I'm getting a full bag, like an actual like. Let's see, there's the eye fact which goes on my armor. Then there's this what was it, a, called the Saint Mike. It's a literally like a duffel bag of medical supplies. Mm -hmm. uh, the duffel bag is eight forty nine, eight forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> Wait. But this thing is wait, like wait, 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 wait. wait. Eight forty nine ninety nine as in eight hundred fifty bucks? Yes. For a medical kit. A medical and trauma kit. <laughs> What's in there? Cause like you that's so... that sounds like you have like specialized equipment in there or something, cause like Well, for one thing, the duffel is made of fucking cordura and nylon, which is like, you know, Good luck ripping and tearing this shit. I guess. Because I'm just, like, thinking, like, most, like, first aid kits are, like, should be, like, 20 bucks. Um, anyway, for so most they people. have it organized. So what we got in the trauma Maybe bag is inflation. 10 one by 3 bandages. What was it? 10 7... What was it? 3 quarters by 3 band-aids. 5 wing bandages. What was it? 5 2 by 4... What was it? 2 by 4.5 bandages. 5 knuckle bandages. 5 fingertip bandages. 6 midi burn gels. Five packs of butterfly sutures, five packs of large butterfly sutures, two, what was it, two packs of, what was it, four-inch wide gauze, four packs of three-inch wide gauze, one 
package of surgical tape, 10 4x4 gauze pa pads, 5 2x2 gauze pads, 5 uh, what was it, ABD pads, which is a specific type of wound dress, lots of very different specialized wound dressings, 4 packs of compressed gauze, 2 splints, what was it, an ace, what was it, 4 ace wraps, what was it, 2 sets of halo vented chest seals, uh, chest seals for if you get a penetrating injury to the chest, literally, it's a, to seal up a chest wound. <laughs> Vented chest shield. So, so like, watched... basically the type of shit that, like, they did in, like, ODST with Romeo. Uh, yes. Okay. Two different... Yeah, that's two, some uh, pretty good shit. <laughs> yeah. Two six-inch uh, Izzy's and then two four-inch Izzy's. Those are Israeli bandages. It's a bandage that absor absorbs fluids, self-compresses because it's slightly elastic, and is impregnated with freaking uh, hemostatic, hemostatic chemicals. <laughs> Okay, so basically this kid then, is so fucking expensive. And um, then an abdominal bandit, an uh, abdominal Izzy okay. bandage, a my, four, was it, four mylar blankets, two cravats, okay. a set of trauma shears, two packs, uh, well, the two packs of quick clot bleed control dressings, 12, two 12 foot long packs, or 12 foot rolls of quick clot bandage, then two four foot long rolls of quick clot bandages, two tourniquets, Two extra wide tourniquets, five pairs of needles well, of gloves, two NPAs, a dedicated pouch of large container of burn gel, Vianex wipes, glucose gel, what was it? Uh, anti sting wipes, Tylenol, Motrin, aspirin, sunscreen, a CPR mask, and then four packs of quick clot. How big is this container? Like, how big is the pack? How big is the duffel? It's, uh,. Let me see. Because I'm like trying to imagine like all these things. Because like it sounds like the reason why this is so fucking expensive is because there's a fuck ton of things. Like just just the quantity is huge. Um, and also you have some very specialized equipment within there. Um, which yeah, I guess yeah. When you take all of that into consideration, no wonder it's 850 bucks. Um, but also, why do you need $850 worth of medical supplies? What the fuck? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> having the... It's a case of have it and not need it. Okay, okay, it and okay. It. But, like... Also, you, this is off of my HSA. It's my works money, and I can't spend on anything other than medical supplies. Oh, well, okay. Th that second part's the real reason, then. So I was gonna say, it's like, okay... Unless, one thing my, unless, unless one you thing. and your parents are planning to do some really dumb shit, I doubt there's anything that's going to facilitate the or going to like necessitate um, or reasonably like justify like that amount of medical supplies in your house. That wouldn't also like just be like someone's going to the hospital for like a month, <laughs> um, in which like. I guess in which case that might still be useful, but like, man, even then, I'm like, I'm not also, sure if you need that the vehicle, much. Because remember, I I go back to the res frequently, and I have dangerous, I have inherently dangerous hobbies. Well, yes, no, I understand all that, but like, this sounds like enough to treat like a clinic. <laughs> like, actually, this is actually meant for. This is actually meant for. This is a kit meant for treating like a small team, like four people. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, but this is just like for the in-home or in the vehicle. Then so I guess what I would IFAC. say, oh, and then a an IFAC, which is a, a kit that has it's basically similar things in a much smaller form factor and less of it because it's meant for one person, and it just straps onto my armor my armor plates that you have that you've seen that you've seen the armor. Okay, <laughs> it attaches to the armor. Okay, well, I, I, I mean, like, look, you're, you're, if, if this is like all being paid by your work in any way, it's like fucking go, go ham. That's fine. Exactly. Um, I'm using my benefits. <laughs> yeah, no, like, might as well. Um, if this is like the only thing you could really spend it on, like, fuck it. Um, so I guess what I would recommend is just like actually, because like some of that stuff is, like, a lot of that stuff you don't need. You need just bare minimum understanding of like, like wrapping bandages and stuff like that. Like, not terribly complicated. But I, I would recommend if you're gonna have like this more um, comparatively advanced equipment, um, probably just learn about it. Like look up some, like tutorials on YouTube. I know. 
Well, here's um, the thing also. Because you, it would be, uh, it would be good for you to know how to actually use all that stuff. Because also it might already know because of the you know, EMT training, but as far as I know, you haven't had such training. No, so... I have not. And that's actually the thing. Osla is currently, what was it? One, saving up. Because, okay, you know me and Osla are already trying to save up some money to go through rifle courses. But also another thing I'm trying to save up for, and at his recommendation, is saving up to do uh, what's called, what was the acronym for it? Basically, civilian trauma training. I basically, it's not. It's basically gonna be like a week, like a week course or shit like that. But it's basically a case of it's not to become an EMT, but it's learning shit like learning how to use the shit that's in this bag, the more advanced stuff that's in there. Basically, it's like uh, first aid, first aid classes plus. <laughs> Yeah. So not only are you knowing basic first aid, here's how to use some literal trauma and how to apply trauma care to make sure people don't die there. <laughs> Which also include would include, you know, yourself. Man, after getting used to sh shrines of, or like combat shrines of greater, or like te major test of strength, that's what it's called. The moderate Tesla or modest Tesla strength, so easy. <laughs> oh, um, I want the spear. I don't have another spear actually, so maybe I should keep the spear. Um, maybe I drop the force driller sword then, because only twenty two is kind of, eh. Yeah, I think that's right. Alright, um... Anyways, did, did you have more to say? Or was... Uh, basically, uh, I'm glad I work for one of the better companies in the state. Yeah! Oh, a Frost Spear! That's way better than, um... Because if they didn't have benefits like this, there was no way in fuck I could ever afford anything like this. No, I mean, yeah. Dude, 850 bucks of, of medical supplies? Jesus, dude. Um, like for just like a normal ass person, even, even with someone with your hobbies, that is an insane amount of medical supplies to have. Um, and to be fair, with the type of stuff that's dangerous about the stuff you're into, um, like, some of it's so dangerous that like, it, the, the danger is getting hit at all. Um, not so much about the response time. Uh, if that makes sense, um, I mean, oh, yeah. it, it, I mean, it is about the response time. Don't get me wrong, but it, it's like, it, it's a bit of both. Uh, also, hi Red, how's it going? Hi Red, how's it going? We're talking about my overkill uh, medical prep I'm doing. Okay, you must tell me a story. I demand it. Okay, okay, I need a story. Um... So me and my cousin. So... <laughs> well, well, I've... that would be your, one of your stories. What about one of my? I don't have terribly dramatic stories because I don't do dumb shit in the desert. Um, okay, let me think for a second. Um, okay, okay, what if I summarize, so I'm playing Zelda, right? What if I summarize a different Zelda game, but, like, in a, like, a cute way or something? Um, Rez, give me a random Zelda game that I've played. Uh, the one with the, the metrosexual link. Uh, kind of, I think I need you to be more specific. <laughs> Shit, um... <laughs> that sounds like all of them, to be honest. <laughs> um... Oracle of Ages. Oracle of Ages, okay. Um... Alright, so if, if I go on long enough, I might blend this with the story of Oracle of Seasons, because the two are blended, but... Or, like, they go together, but I will try to keep this to Oracle of Ages unless I feel like I want to rant more. Um, so, Oracle of Ages is a story in which uh, Link, the hero of legend, the same Link that from, um, from Link to the Past, after saving Hyrule from, from the demon Ganon, um, 
he goes off on his own adventures, and there are three of these adventures. One of them is known as Oracle of Seasons, one of them is known as Link's Awakening, and this one is known as the Oracle of Ages. At the beginning of the story, he go he seeks out the Triforce. He's he's called he feels a call from the Triforce. He goes to find it, um, and the Triforce teleports him to this mysterious land named Labrina. Now in the Labrina, he finds Impa there, and but he's like she's like seems like a she's acting a bit erratic and very urgently trying to get somewhere. Uh, Link's a little bit confused about it, but tries to help. Um, and then they find. And he eventually does, like, help uh, Impa get into this area where they find a group of critters huddled around this very pretty woman with blue hair named Nehru. And she has this magical harp called the Harp of Ages. Now, the Harp of Ages is a very special type of instrument. Uh, it's a harp, as you might have guessed. Um, and it has some very magical properties, which we will get to later, but... For now, she's just playing a really cute song for, like, bunnies and bears and squirrels and stuff like that. Um, but while she's doing this, Impa gets, like, oddly close to her. Like, you know how, like, you know, at concerts and stuff, like, there's a... You can get kind of close to, like, you know, people playing on stage or whatever, but, like, there's, like, a threshold at which, like, okay, you're getting too close. Um, yeah, Impa gets too close, and it gets a little bit weird. And it turns out it's not Impa, it's, well, actually, technically it is, but a dark spirit rips, is, is like, tears itself out of Impa and reveals herself to be Varin, the dark spirit and servant of, of uh, Twinrova. Who is Twinrova? We may or may not get there. That depends. That's where the Link uh, Oracle's stuff comes in. And she... Varen is this, like... She had possessed Impa at the beginning and was trying to break in here. And now, she possesses Nehru, the Oracle of Ages. And then, like, she does some magic stuff and suddenly, like, a bunch of animals disappear. Some of them are turned into stone. And so, so do the people. And... Some mysterious stuff is happening, and you find out she went back in time and did some stuff, and it affected the pe the future, which is right now. <gasps> oh no! And so you got to go back, back in time, and you find this like, I you find this magical portal that sends you back in time, and you go talk to the uh, the Maku tree, who is this cute kawaii uwu tree who has a crush on you, um, be because you save her from a bunch of moblins when she was like a baby. Um, <laughs> That I'm not, I'm not making that shit up. That's actually true. <laughs> um, and then from there, you work with the Maku tree and the the queen of uh, Queen Ambi of Labrina, um, to f try to like f stop Varen and stuff. Along the way, you you go to various places, including a, a forest where you chase some bunnies. Um, I think there's like a graveyard you go into that where you gotta face off against this like pumpkin head motherfucker, um, all sorts of stuff, until eventually you get um, you go into I think you get like the Harp of Ages from um, from Nehru's like house or something like that. I am a little fuzzy on the details. This was literally a year ago when I was playing it, so bear with me. Um, and then. You take the Harp of Ages, and you find out with the Harp of Ages, you can go back and forth through time at will, sort of. I mean, you have to, like, unlock the powers throughout the game, so you don't have all of it fully unlocked at, at once. Um, but, you know, basically, you can now travel back in time and, and back to the future, and wow, time travel! It's so cool! It's like the Ocarina of Time, but, but not actually. It's time. Um, it's more like the Magic Mirror, actually, from Link to the Past, but... But I digress. Anyways, and now that you have the ability to go travel back and forth from from uh, past and present, you can travel Labrina in a way that you couldn't before. Because in the past, maybe there was a barrier, but now you travel to, to the present, and you could you could bypass something. Same thing goes in reverse. Maybe there's some kind of barrier in the present, but it doesn't exist in the past. <gasps> wow! You keep on doing running around Labrina. But along the way, 
um, you free Nehru from from Varen, the, the evil spirit that possessed her. But then she possesses Queen Ambi in the past, and now Queen Ambi, possessed by Varen, is building the the Black Tower of Darkness or whatever it was called, and it's bad and makes everyone sad and stuff like that. And if it gets completed in, in the past, it will get completed in the future, and everyone will be really, really sad if that happens, because it's magic and it's evil, and Varen is evil, but also kind of hot, not gonna lie. Um, at least in her, her human form. <laughs> she looks a bit like a Twilight, actually. Reminds me of Midna. Um, anyways, I digress. <laughs> After, um... Oh my god, fucking rain! Okay, after the rain fucking destroys my running around in circles in Breath of the Wild, I continued the story of Oracle of Ages. Uh, you continue on in Oracle of Ages afterwards. You now, now you're working a little bit more closely with, with um, another shooting star. Okay, I'm gonna go with the shooting star while I talk. Um, you work more closely with, with Nehru and Impa, and later Princess Zelda shows up. Because she wants to help out the people of Labrina. It's like a sister kingdom to Hyrule or something. Um, and so she's showing up and she's like, the hope of the people. The people are so inspired by seeing Zelda because she's so cool. Um, and you do everything. She just kind of hangs out with Impa and Nehru in Nehru's house um, while you go actually do the stuff. But that's okay because Zelda's cool. Anyways, you, you carry on doing that. You travel back and forth between time, you, you meet some Gorons in the past and in the future, you do a cool dance with them, and you become an official brother of the Gorons! It's really cool! I love that part so much, actually, because I love the Gorons. And then, later, you go into the ocean, because Labrin is a coastal kingdom. And in the ocean, you meet, you meet some pirates that you may or may not have already met in Oracle of uh, Seasons. Um... And then you also meet the Zora, the Ocean Zora of Labrina. And they, they're they a little bit racist because they shit talk the River Zora. <laughs> because the River Zora are bad and they try to attack you. But the Ocean Zora, they're good. They, and they try to help you. But you have to help them with uh, with their sick uh, go fish god named Jabu Jabu. And you got to go inside Jabu Jabu's belly and, and help and like fix like the disease or whatever. And I think you kill a parasite, if I remember correctly. Um, it's very original. <laughs> um, and yeah, and you become so you become fr you help out all these people around Labrina, and you gain all these you gain all these tools and powers, and now you're ready to go face off Farron. But then, oh no, something happens to Zelda, and you and she's like in the Black Tower or something, and so you gotta go. You go to the Black Tower. You go confront Farron, and. And then, like, she becomes, like, a, an evil, like, spider demon. And maybe she's not so pretty after all. <gasps> oh my goodness. Wow. And I've attracted a lot of attention here in Breath of the Wild. But that's okay. This is the future. Which ties into the fact that Oracle of Ages is all about time travel. And we're way in the future from when all this happened. If it even happened in this timeline. I don't know. That's a... That's a debate for more theorists to have, and I might be one of them, but I'm not talking about it right now. We're talking about something else. <laughs> and then we carried on. You you, you can defeat um, Varen. You you beat you beat her out of Queen Ambi with the help of Queen Ambi's descendant, because he's also been a simp for Nehru the whole time. I forgot he existed in t until this part right here, because it's actually plot important. Because he tells you it's okay if you kill his grandmother, and even though it'll mean he'll never exist, because you need to save the kingdom. And if that means killing the queen, then so be it. But you don't need to kill the queen, you just need to beat her up a little bit, and then Varen pops out. And then you fight the spider Varen, who's not so pretty. And, and then some other stuff happens, and then... You beat her, yay! But oh no, it's too late. She's already gotten the f the flame of despair or sadness or whatever it's called. But like she, it's not the that flame is not for her, but for the evil witches, Kuomi and Katake, also known as Twin Rova. Dun dun dun. And that's the end of Oracle of Ages. Die. <laughs>
<laughs> also, Sin, to shock you even more, as you're talking about getting lessons for the advanced stuff, this is everything I'm ordering. In the HSA, I still have over a G, which is enough to pay for those civilian trauma courses. <laughs> Man, it wasn't a, I'm like simultaneously surprised by how much I remember from Oracle Ages and also how much I just like was so fuzzy on the details of. Uh, the Oracle games are really good, by the way, anyone watching. Um, they're super good. I highly recommend them, especially doing a linked game. So do Oracle Seasons and Oracle of Ages. They're, they're meant to be played together, although specifically one after the other, right? Um, because it, I don't think it works out if, to do them parallel to each other. What just died? You see that? Oh, it's probably like a style creature. That would make no sense. Um. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so here in Breath of the Wild, we get, I'm in this special place called Krennel Peak, which is named after Krennel Peak in the Minish Cap. Um, but um, what's really cool about this place is you got some whiz ropes here. I fucking missed my fire arrow? Are you fucking kidding me? Probably should have equipped a. Uh... Probably should have equipped a uh, Sans mask, but oh well. It's fine. Anyways, this this place is really useful because uh, you can get elemental rods of your choice here. One of these is frost. One of these is fire. One of these is is electric. So. You can also get fire arrows and stuff here too. So just anytime you want elemental stuff, this is a good place to come by. I think the Thunderstorm Rod might actually be good. Um, but you know what? It might be a little bit more useful right now for me to get the Fire Rod. But I don't think it's in this place because this has a lot of peace. I was having Ocelot go over what I'm planning on getting, and he's like, what the fuck? Where are you getting this money from? And, oh, that's right. I work for the government, so I don't get this type of shit. <laughs> well, not not that like private businesses reliably get that either. You work for a very specific private business that uh, has connections to um, an indigenous tribe. So honestly, in a weird way, it is kind of a government job, while not at all. It's weird. It's like government affiliated, technically. Um, but only technically. Uh -oh. Also, this is not one of the uh, weapon spots. This is one of the weapon spots. Ooh, I don't know if that actually counts. Yeah, 
Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, that's right. <laughs> the updraft can actually cause the bombs to go in the air, too. Go off course. Yeah. It also makes it awkward to pick up all the, the fire chew jelly. Which I imagine this is how you do elemental arrows in, um, whatchamacallit, um, Tears of the Kingdom, because of the whole fuse ability. But you want to you wanna know what I want to see in uh, Tears of the Kingdom when I eventually get to it? What? Um, I want to see what dragon scales and dra like. I want to see what the dragon parts do with arrows, because those have got to be insane, right? Because they're they're extremely rare, right? Because you have to you have to literally get it from a dragon. Um, Did I grab fire arrows from the thing, or was I fucking stupid and not grabbing loot over there? Because I came over here to grab the loot from the electric thing, but I don't consciously remember grabbing arrows from over here. Oh my god, I'm so stupid sometimes. Uh... Oh. Um... I, I must have, because I don't see... A chest here, which may have gotten burned, come to think of it. How'd it get burned? How'd it get burned? How'd it get burned? Uh, probably the wind's rope and the fire chews. Anyway. So I'm guessing since uh, Red went silent, my story did a good job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She is kind of like my wife in that way. <laughs> I think I think that's why we get along so well, because um, she has a very similar personality to my wife, and the three of us get along pretty well. Like obviously there's some differences, but like. Well, actually, I'm not sure if it's, like, a massive personality difference so much as it is, like, maybe, like, cultural exposure type of thing. I don't know. Um... Gems. Oh, come on. Was oh, that a fucking diamond? Dude, nice. We got a diamond. Um, anyways. I spent so long over here, man. <laughs> um, I was gonna go do the Typhoon of Ruins and then I got, like, distracted by a fucking meteorite and- oh my god. Um, honestly, yeah, let's just fast travel back to the Woodland Tower. <laughs> um... Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll end it off with the Typhlo runes then. Because I was thinking maybe I might explore Akala, but Akala might... Akala's not huge or comp complex like the Hebrew Mountains are, so it's not going to take like an entire stream to do, but... Um, considering I'm 4 hours and 22 minutes into the stream, I, I just have this feeling that maybe I won't be... Um... Getting that. Also, I can get another Royal Claymore here, and that's pretty good. Um, you know, let's let's drop the Great Flame Blade, fl Great Flame Blade, uh, because it's about to break, anyways. All right. 
So that's what Typhal of Ruins is probably just kind of going along the edge of like the Death Mountain like ridges here. Um, also, let me go ahead and just preemptively equip the Joyce Mask. Not that I expect to run into a lot of monsters, but I I'd rather avoid the fight if I can. Especially since I'm at two hearts. Though I could just eat some food. So now I'm actually on the side of Death Mountain here. Of course, Death Mountain proper is much deeper in. But yeah, I'll just follow this north until I... Uh... north of the Lost Woods here. The, the Typhlo Ruins is kind of like Lost Woods 2 in a way. Um, it's like Lost Woods 2 um, Dark Boogaloo? I don't know. Maybe I should call it the Woods of Mystery. That's what they called the uh, Lost Woods in Termina, in Majora's Mask. Though, of course, like the Lost Woods, the Typhlo Ruins, at least to my understanding and to my hunch, really, um, I believe it's also a sacred grove of sorts. Cause it's good. And it's, I wonder how important it is in Tears of the Kingdom, because Typhal Ruins uh, is, has Zonai architecture all over it, so that's probably super important in, probably. in you know, the next game, which is all about the Zonai. Okay, I should do, I should do Vermali Scale. Um. Oh, hey, I could sh see that shrine in the uh, Lost Woods. Neat. Okay, you can kind of see Typhla Ruins from here, because, well, and by see, I mean you could, it's kind of, you see it in the same way that you see a black hole. <laughs> you see that you don't see anything. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, because it's like, if you look ahead, dead ahead of where I am, there's kind of just this area of darkness. That's the Typhla Ruins. It's also, it's literally the reason why I, I got a meteor rod from the Crenel Peak, um, because having the ability to throw fireballs around might actually be really useful to see shit.
Oh shit, we got a silver moblin. Let's see, there's a Los Alpha something that way. Uh, these seem isolated enough, though, that I should be fine. So let me just, uh... See, do I have a smaller Healy food? I do not. Hmm. I don't know if I want to pop a hearty food. I mean, I could. It's not the end of the world. Maybe I just pop a hearty elixir? Yeah, let's just do that. Gives me room if I fuck up. Probably should have also equipped the phantom armor. That would be useful. <laughs> do you see him do that like sword flip and, and then stab directly above my head, missing me entirely? <laughs> Dude, moblins are so clunky in this game. Like, they're supposed to be like the big intimidating monster and like they kind of suck <laughs> they might actually be the easiest of the three standard mobs to deal with um, for this reason now that being said a group of moblins might be scarier than like a group of uh... actually let me rephrase that. a group of moblins is definitely scarier than a group of goblins but one-on-one -on -one, moblins are probably the easiest you're definitely the easiest, really. Dude, this guy just blocked with his shield twice in that bullet time. Whoa! Oh, by the way, Rez, um, Plugbear was in chat, uh, like, during, like, the first, like, I don't know, hour or so. We talked a little bit about, like, the uh. hot, the hot on the Shoney and, uh, the... O o o o o Ojibwe? Ojibwa? Fuck, I forgot how it was pronounced. He, he literally, they literally they coached me on how to pronounce it, and I pretty forgot because I'm fucking stupid. I think it was Ojibwe, but I could be misremembering. Ojibwe. I think it is Ojibwe. Yeah, it was, I think it was like that the, like, it's like, like O and then G, or like J. I think it was J. O, J, and then Bwe. Like, you pair the B with the Ojibwe. Kind of like W sound. Ojibwe. Ojibwe. O Ojibwe? Something, I don't know. I'm not good, look. <laughs> In this sense, I am very white. I'm not very good at, like, those types of pronunciations. <laughs> though, the fact, though I am proud of the fact that I did figure out how to mention it. Um, cause that's, that one, if you read it, is just like, what the fuck is that? Um, but, you know. Yeah. Also, is, um, I got the sense from that conversation that Plugbear is also indigenous. Is that? Yep. Okay. All right. I believe they're, from what they said, they're half. I forgot which member of the Haudenosaunee they were, and then half white. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was just like they happened to care more about that stuff, or they were just like actually also um, indigenous. Yeah. So. And also, again, coming from my end, you would not be surprised if they are indigenous. <laughs> yeah, no, it, make, it makes sense. Like, 
you have um, a pretty strong appeal for indigenous people. Um, because, you know, for obvious reasons. Um, I got the mob on the head. We're gonna show you what you do with mob on the heads when you grab them. Walk up to... to the cliff edge like this. And then you give it a kick. Bye. some fire keys up here. Got him. Wait, have I not had fire keys swings before? Oh shit. <laughs> well okay then. We got in the distance you can see uh the din roll. He's poking his head out. Dragon so fucking much. Also, we got a core over here. Um, okay, this will probably be able to be easier with the force dwellers, though. So if I'm like a little bit off, I probably still get it. Alright. I think I got Cinder Shot on all of those too, actually. That was so I didn't even need the, the spread of the four strollers bow. Oh well. Bullshit around here. All right, there's the entrance. I saw the bridge. Look, we got an owl statue. As crafted by the ancient Zonai. Like there's a whole bunch of these uh, statues all the way down here. And at the very bottom of this, by the way, um, though I don't think it's visible from here, but when you get to the bottom, it basically takes you like straight to a Lionel. Which I will not be demonstrating myself because I do not want to fight a Lionel today. But I know it's there. At least on normal mode it is. Um, I assume... Hard mode locations are also there. If anything, there'd just be more Lionel locations, right? Anyways, traveler from beyond these woods, you are now faced with a trial. Find the shrine hidden in the dark uh, forest, I believe is what it said. So they do provide a torch here. I could also light the forest dweller sword on fire. That would be a viable torch. Um, so I will actually just grab the torch here. At least for this initial bit. I don't know why the lighting of that area and just like makes me flash back to the the bone zone from Dark Souls One. Yes, actually, it's very apt comparison. Um, not as scary, um, but there are some. 
there's at least one big threat here. Um, <laughs> <The> bone zone. <laughs> yeah. I love how people who don't know um, <laughs> are just sold one. <laughs> yeah, like, but it's like I I know exactly what you're referring to. Um, yeah, all of us know our- all of us had reactions when you- when you first meet the quadruped boner in the dark. Oh, yeah. Dude, those things are, like, brutal, too. Um, yeah, no, they're a hard fight. Well, and it's, like, specifically, they have that one move that's kind of like this, like, frenzy move, and that can one-shot you. Almost at any point, almost no matter what, like you have to have. You get a, caught into it, you're fucked. You have to have a very high level of like st of uh, it's not stamina, um, just health, I guess. Is what, what's the stat they call it though? It's like a, vitality. That's what it's called. Um, you have to have a ver either a very high level of vitality or and or it's it, it actually maybe just and specifically. You have to have a very high amount of vitality, and you you probably also need. Great uh, armor. Like, yes, yeah, really good armor. Uh, like, heavy armor, too. Um... Because, my god, yeah, they will just absolutely tear you apart. Um... And, and here's the thing, it's like, it's counter, the counterplay is that, like, well, at least it's a very telegraphed move. But then you have to remember... Your visibility is lower than this. Because actually, in Dark Souls 1, it's much more intense than this is. This is pretty dark. But... Well, actually, it, so this one is worse in the sense that you don't have as good vision on yourself in Breath of the Wild. Because in Dark Souls, you do emit a tiny amount of, like, glow for yourself. Um, like, wherever you, you stand. But, like... Um, whereas in this game you don't, but in this game um, you have like torches around and they do a lot more for your visibility. Um, anyways, I think right here is a good spot for to try to see what a meteor rod shows me. Okay. okay. Alright, let's switch back to torch. But yes, um, the comparison to the, I think it's the Tomb of the Giants is what it's called, right? Um, yeah. in Dark Souls. It's, it's a pretty apt comparison, just... More mystery, less, oh god, what's behind the corner that's going to destroy me. Um, which I feel like is a good way to describe the difference between Zelda and Dark Souls. Where Dark Souls, where Dark Souls is deliberately trying to fuck you at every turn. Whereas Zelda just wants you to be like enamored with like what's going on. They want you to, like, be, like, excited and, like, have this, like, sense of mystery and wonder and exploration and all that stuff. And, like, wow, look at these, like, cool little, like, dragon, like, s sculptures or, or whatever. And it's like, wow, that's so cool. And very heavily inspired by uh, Mesoamerican architecture. Um, like, super heavily inspired. <laughs> Getting some lag. Okay, we're good. have made a bit of a loop here. Okay, let me drop the... Let me just 
do that just to get rid of these fucking bats. Alright, so go forward this way. Ah, I missed this bird. Okay, there we go. Very good use of Luminous Stone, by the way, because um, uh, it gives off a very distinct glow, and in a place that's a bit of dark, you will see it. So I like that. Oh, and here's a uh, here's where the shrine would be, but we gotta get a little something first. For those of you who are observant may have noticed that there's something I could target here. Now what now Rez, what do you suppose I might be targeting here? Tingle. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no, it, though that would be terrifying in its own way. <laughs> also I just love how just like basically what's it? But the most, like, almost all U.S. people just do not like Tingle. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's specifically because of how he's represented in Wind Waker, but I'm just... He gives off, so, like, so many ick vibes in that game. Like, in Majora's Mask, he's fine. In Oracle of Ages, he's fine. Um, in Wind Waker, he is fucking creepy, dude. Um, like, ugh. I do not like him. Anyways, um... So, a hint for what type of thing is targetable here is the fact that you can kind of see the the shrine orb, but it kind of seems to, like, almost move in and out of visibility. And while there's a certain type of thing that would explain it... We got a Hinox here. Like, I think it'd be kind of funny to take a picture of this and this saves <laughs> this saves the picture into the Hyrule Compendium as a black Hinox. <laughs> it's just fucking literal blackness. Um, fitting I, in some ways. Um, so we gotta get the Shrine Orb from the Hinox. So let me light my torch and then just kind of quietly make my way towards him. There are torches right here. Ah, but that did wake him up. Yeah, I should probably... this. Um, and probably Royal Claymore would be good. Ow. Well, that hurt. Is this foot covering not made out of wood? No, it is. Okay, good.
All right. We killed the Hinox in the dark. Knight's bow, knight broth sword. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Thankfully, Hinoxes, I think, are the easiest boss type to deal with. Um, what low noxes? <laughs> or mid noxes? Um. God, I can't see shit. Um. I mean, you know, it's, it's, those are different. wall we gotta climb here. So we got some bird statues up here. Is there anything behind the shrine? No, it looks like this is it. Okay. Alright. Into the shrine we go. And I'll probably end off the stream after the shrine um because i just don't think it's time to explore a whole other region like i was kind of like spitballing earlier um so which like in a way maybe this is better because it keeps the stream kind of like on theme with the idea of like hey we're exploring like mysterious forests that are also probably sacred locations um and i got the master sword so that's pretty cool getting master sword's really cool actually Oh yeah, that's right, the shrine is just a blessing because you did the, the hard part already. So, okay, yeah. Though maybe I should get outside of the Typhlo ruins before I end off the stream, because otherwise I'm going to start next stream with, like, just being in the darkness. Uh, and that's going to... That's going to suck a little bit. Done well to arrive at this shrine. A hero rises to right the wrongs of Hyrule. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Yarn! May the goddess smile upon you. Okay. All right, let's make our way out of the forest. God, do it. Do these all like unlight themselves? Oh my goodness. Oh no. Um. Black. You know what? Uh, here's a better way out of the forest. Um. What if I went. I don't know. Let's just go back to fucking t the Woodland Tower. Like, fuck it. Like. I can make plans from here <laughs> for, for next week. When did that teleport? <laughs> yeah. I, I forgot that the torch, most of the torches unlight themselves, and it's like, oh, yeah, okay, never mind. Um, Unalighting themselves. And th there is more space to explore if you really want to, but there's nothing special that you'll find. 
Um, at least not from what I recall of playing this on normal mode, so... It's just kind of like... Yeah. Um... Anyways, so... Thanks for hanging out with me today in the stream. Uh, kind of a very low-key stream in a way, but we, we did some cool stuff. We got the Master Sword, which is really cool. And I got this, like, cool Korok shield. Wonder how long it'll be for, before this, like, breaks. <laughs> um, and yeah. I don't know. Um, so next week, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably still be... I'm still kind of in this phase of, like, playing things by ear. But I think next week I will at least get the towers for, like, Death Mountain and Alcala. I'm not going to, like, do the Death Mountain region. I'm saving that for last. But I, I think I'll explore the Akala region, because there's a lot of cool stuff we could do there. Um, including another labyrinth that has another piece of the uh, Barbarian set. So that's something you can look forward to next week. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed the mysterious forest today. Both the Lost Woods and the Typhlo Ruins. And uh, yeah. Um, Come by on Tuesday for Together Tuesday, which may or may not be at a different time, because I just realized we, Razdog and I never talked about what we should be doing for Together Tuesday and if we should be shifting the times, because we keep on running into issues with Steam servers being down. So, yep. so we probably will have that at a different time. Um, I guess uh, we'll talk about that, um, actually, after I end stream here. Um, so... Follow me and Resdog on Twitter, who recently just got unsuspended after being wrongfully suspended. Um, because Twitter is... Twitter's stumbling a lot after Elon took over, <laughs> let's put it that way. Um, anyways, I love you guys very much. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. I don't really see anyone to raid, and we just have a couple people here anyways, so... Have a good night, have a good morning, afternoon, whatever time it is. Um, and you two people, you're cool too. Uh, whatever day it is. It, and it's some point in the future for you guys. So I hope the future is cooler than today. Because that's progress, baby. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, enough of this dumb fucking shit. I love you guys. I'll see you on Tuesday. Unless we cancel things, but probably won't. I'll see you next time. I'll just leave it at that. Bye!